All right, here we are with No Carnival Parking, number 25, with the very famous, super famous, Johnny Hollywood. With a name like that, <laughs> he has to be famous. Johnny Hollywood. Thank you. It's our special guest tonight. Also, uh, as always, we have straight across from me, uh, Henry Suarez. My uh, people, my feet people. Being fucked up. Right and <laughs> the feed's fucked up. And <laughs> what is going on here? Mike Romanelli. All right, you guys talk amongst yourselves. What's up, so everyone? What the What's fuck going, on? going on? What happened, Clint? Are we losing I something? I don't know. It's not streaming for some reason. Oh, no. Oh, no. We've been, well, we've been it's, mo I, it's mostly Mike's fault. We're it's up it's 100% my fault. Yeah. If that happens, I mean, I don't think we're there yet. It will happen. Oh, we're I'm close. I'm thinking I'm going to have Mike over for fucking beers. Oh, but can I curse? Yeah, you, you can, can curse. curse. We don't oh, care. you can curse. Uh, <laughs> if you're on video, there's pod. There's no carnival parking. Number 25. I don't know why it didn't start before, but we're good now. There What's up, go. video files? Hollywood. Thank you. Glad to be here. So we have Johnny Hollywood here. This is amazing. This is great. I'm basically hidden behind Mike. Come so on, anyway. Man, that's why I asked you where to sit. <laughs> you're gonna get mad at me. You say that I don't. Well, you were too far away <laughs> from. You were too close to the camera before. Bunch this of non-team This is the first one I've players. ever done without Mike stands. Usually we all just sit <laughs> hunched over like little trolls. You can crouch on over if you want. That's no, cool. I can hold it. I mean, that's what I figure. We're why not comedians? That's what how we do. I do it anyway. <laughs> so. So. I want to ask Johnny, I want to ask you this question that when I first saw you at Open Mic, which is a topic that we're going to talk about on Free Thinker this week, but I, I, the first time I ever saw you, everyone said Johnny Hollywood's coming. It was an Open Mic night. Where? Uh, here. I don't think I've the been dojo. to Open Mic here. Yeah, you were here. Oh! No, you were here. You're right, You were I definitely was. here. It was a good night, and everyone said, oh, John Hollywood's here. John and I was like, okay, yeah, I thought you came from Hollywood. I was like, oh, awesome. Okay. And you were, you were telling, I, I, told, I actually called Henry on my way home. Because I hate, I, I don't hate, I hate and love when this happens. Because as the person that runs the comedy club, I, sometimes I'm not sure how it, this should happen. But you were you were telling some joke that was so morbid, and I was the only person <laughs> howling in the back. <laughs> I was just fucking howling. Do you remember it? Or? Yeah, you're talking about uh, your mother. You're jerking off on a grave. Oh, that's a <laughs> okay. <laughs> you were jerking yeah. off on a grave or something, and I was and I was literally, and you kept going. And it kept getting weirder, and I just kept laughing and, and howling, right, and right. nobody else, I think, but... <laughs> okay, that's a story that goes... It, basically, that's an old party joke, but there was a guy in upstate New York who was telling party jokes, and, it was, and his father, he was a young kid, and his father was looking up jokes on the internet and just feeding them to the kid, and this little kid was going up and telling the jokes. Like, word for word. And I said, listen, if you're going to tell a joke like that, you got to own it. you got to make it your own. you got to really put yourself into the joke. And so the basic story of this is I was doing that story with the joke, and somebody Facebook live to the story, and my parents were watching. And it's this, it, the, the whole joke is basically kid <laughs> walks in, finds his parents having sex. The kid freaks out. Parents can't find the kid. Next thing you know, he's in grandma's bedroom banging grandma, and <laughs> and the parents go, what are you doing? It's like, oh, well, it's not funny when it's your mom. You know what I mean? How do you like it when it's your mom? That's that's the, the core of that joke. But, you know, I really dragged yeah. it out to the point where <laughs> I, I, I dug up my grandmother's core. Yeah, he took and that. I, I, I bent it over to tombstone. Yeah. I called yeah. my father. Oh. He comes. He's like, what are you oh. doing? Yeah. Oh. So, um, <laughs> oh my God, it was so dark. And I my parents like... heard me do that on Facebook Live. Is that true? That's, That's true. That's true story. My oh, parents, so that part is true. That part is dead true. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and so, and so, um, oh my God, my mother was crying. That's why I go by Johnny Hollywood. My mom doesn't, you know, my parents are, you know, <laughs> vibrant in the community, you know, and they don't want, uh, you know, they don't want that getting you back to them so much. Disavowed by the family. Kinda. Yeah. Yeah. My mom tells people I'm an adult entertainer. Yeah. It's you're like that's worse, mom. Yeah. <laughs> your, your real last name is Holly Woodenstein. No. But now no, you just changed like it that. to Hollywood. No, no. But it's <laughs> see if I, if I let that cat out of the bag, it, the Johnny Hollywood is over. You know, I can't. <laughs> I can't let that happen. <laughs> no. I'll be out of the will. It'll be awful. That was that was. I I'll, I'll never forget that night, and it was it was awesome. And uh, I actually, like I said, I, I called you or texted you afterwards about how it was just 
Because whenever that happens here, where I'm the only one laughing, or, or <laughs> Henry runs it's, the it's, board here, it's always either, it's or it's either, just the it's two of us crying I, and nobody, everyone else yeah. is horrified. People, every once in a while, someone wants their money back. I so the last time one of the comedians was here, I was like, I was like, yeah, you told this joke, and the lady directly in front of me said, oh, that's not funny. <laughs> <laughs> but here's the thing. Uh, somehow I'm lucky enough when it's a real crowd, not when it's like a bunch of open micers or if it's like some kind of uh, yeah. an event. Like, I can sell that. I mean, I can I can make people be okay with something like that. <laughs> like, like when I did Paul's show and I closed out that show, I mean, I told, I think, one of the most horrific stories that, I, I, that ever happened. And there were uh, half the room was all ladies and the other half were uh, somebody else's coworkers and it worked out. Well, Paul shows anything goes, but that's what we love about here at the dojo is that we just go fucking hard and we there's no censorship here, which is it's kind of crazy, guys. What's going on, huh? Yeah, right. Trying to cancel everyone, canceling everyone, and then like I don't like this. Um, I don't like going back. I don't like the going back and finding jokes from five, six, ten oh. years ago. That's bullshit. That is. Uh, that's fucked up. And I made a point um, on Sam Tripoli's podcast, and I'll make it here that. I mean, not that I ever want it done, and I was talking to Clint about this afternoon. Not that I want it done, but if you really want to fucking do that shit, Eddie Murphy. I mean, hundred percent. And I'm not, and I'm not saying it should be done. I'm saying that's wrong. But yeah, yeah. there's shit that we all laughed at. We all laughed at, and we loved it. And it, you know, one of the biggest comics of that time. And it was all homophobic, borderline fucking. What's the word where you almost gay bash type jokes? Right. So, well, but hey, well, what about dice? Yeah, over the top. Uh, Kennison over the top. He's yeah, dead. You can't, can't yeah. go back and ruin his career. Yeah, you can't. Fu- yeah, <laughs> you're right. But you're right. I mean, Kennison would have some things. He would. Be, yeah, in today's yeah. in today's climate, can't, uh, if if he was alive, I think he would have been canceled. Oh yeah. You know, yeah. they would have went back. His whole thing was about crazy exes and crazy women. Oh, so I mean, you he, know, well, yeah. starving, the starving kid in Africa. I mean, he. Oh, that he, was brilliant. Yeah, he. <laughs> oh yeah, no, he, that's great. He, but there's so much you could go back and cancel. I, I, you're right about going back and judging comedy and judging history using today's standards. It's like yeah, you, you can't, can't do it. You can't, you can't do, do it. it, man. It's like, what are we going to go back to World War II and say, oh, we can't drop the bomb. We should never have dropped the bomb. It's like we saved more lives dropping that damn bomb. Yeah. And you can't convince people of that. Well, that's the issue now is that everybody wants to believe in the goodness of everybody. And while most of us are good, that's not who you have to worry about. You have to worry about the small faction of people that are, you know, terrible. Clint, we said it today. It's intention. It's a fucking it's intention. Dude. I don't I know. I know I'm going to take a turn. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> but nine out of ten times, the person touching the kid is running the fucking kid fucking save the children. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? The one that screams the loudest normally got to look at. Scout master. So, yeah. Right. The scout master. The all those people. So you got to You got to You got to be careful. The ones that are crying and screaming. Right. About shit. And uh, comedy is fucking comedy, man. I know I got into I got into the comedy business because I, I saw that there was a problem with protect we got to protect speech i mean isn't comedy pretty much taking uh any let's ask you johnny isn't it for the most part taking an everyday common situation that people have reference with because you and i know that the only jokes that work really well are ones that people can relate to right. at least to some extent and then taking that and twisting it so that it's from a different viewpoint that they never thought of well yeah, you 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 kind of went a long way around to get there. I think what makes comics comics is the fact that we don't see things the way regular people do, and 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 that we recognize that in ourselves. And that way, because because like like uh, like okay, I'll give you an example. I'm out mowing my lawn, right, and I'm noticing I got a lot of neighbors walking around my house. Now, re- regular people would look at that and go, "Wow, that's really nice." I got neighbors that are you know out and about, and they're waving and saying hello, and I'm just like. Where the fuck are all these people coming from? Get them. I, why? I get get away from my house. I don't want to see you. It's like what, I got neighbors. I don't want to know yeah. I have neighbors. But that's <laughs> the way my head works. Then where a normal person would be just like, uh, oh look, I've got neighbors. They're wonderful. It's I like, had like the same thing written down about the the thing that'll quit the ruin like a hike or w- nature the quickest is seeing fucking people yeah. thousand percent you know yeah. what i mean i'm like i came out to the woods to get away from you fucking assholes yeah. and yeah. now like everyone's in the woods that was the worst part about like 
you know, hiking prior to, there was no one in the woods. It was great. It's yeah. like, that's like the point of fucking being exactly. there. Exactly. And then as soon as there was the lo- the lockdown, yeah. the timeout. Everybody's in the woods. So then all of a sudden you go back, I go back to the park and it was like fucking torture not yeah. being there. So I finally get back to get to go back and there's everyone and their mother, people that have like no business being Masking out there. Gloves everywhere. No, of course, dude. You was walk around really? the trails now, like oh. the garbage is there, oh. broken bottles and shit. And I was just like, oh god, I, I just want. But now it's it's starting to balance out. It's just like yeah, it's just like the the New Year's gym membership. Everyone, yeah, everyone's yeah. gung ho until yeah. February third. You know that makes sense. So it's the same thing. Everybody was all about the woods and being outside and all this shit. Now they're like, it's hot. Yeah, the real troopers are the ones that are out now. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah. it's fucking brutal out there now. (laughs) But but, but that you you know it's it's just that those are the kinds of things you 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 look at differently as a comic and you have to you flip it now whether or not it's there's a misdirect involved or you know there's a certain I don't want to call it a maturity, but there's a certain more mature outlook that a comic will have on a subject. Uh, Like, like, let's just tragic shit. We've all experienced it. We've gotten over and gotten past it. So when when I'm presenting something that seems to be really awful to regular people, I've lived through it. I know what's I know we're all going to be okay when we get to the other side of this this topic. You know, but there are people who can't face it and they freak out. You know, well, they don't even want to hear the be uncomfortable with the words. Even right. though it's the reality, and they know it's the reality of that, they just don't want to have to be like admit it. Right. I mean, that not that most things with people in life, right? They kind of uh, don't want to look at themselves and see what the actual issue is. They want to just like pin it on. Well, you know, that, that's that, outside forces. That, that's a lot of younger people not taking responsibility for the things that happen around them. Right. That, that just seems to be everybody from like uh, thirty-five and younger. Oh, well, actually, no. You know what's really interesting about that? 35 and younger, yeah, but when you get to about 22, some 22-year-olds and younger, yes. it's flipping. It is, man. It well, is. you can't... I'm happy you, you said that, John. Think about the amount of people like uh, bands, right? You like a band until too many people like the band. Right. You know, and then it's like, you're like, <laughs> you're like, oh, they fucking sold uh, out. I'm so guilty of that. Well, it's the same thing, you know? Yeah. Everybody feels progressive. That's why I'm getting off of fucking, like, the child uh, stuff. <laughs> like, everyone's talking about it. Yeah. like, something's wrong with yeah. you. Yeah, no, it's <laughs> huge this, now. You're like, uh, so everyone's talking about pedos. Everyone's it's so not cool anymore. No, yeah, I'm, I'm joking. joking. I'm joking. I'm going to start but, researching Flat Earth again. Yeah. <laughs> but no, but you're right. You're, 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 you're fucking right, man. Yeah, so the younger kids are sick of it. They're like, fuck them. We're going to go against yeah. what they're doing. Yeah. It's, it's, they're, they're burning it down. They're, they're like, you want to talk about Gen Z? Like, after us, it's over. Yeah, they're looking to, to actually end it. <laughs> they're really. They're, they are. They like to fuck with people a lot. Yeah, I kind of like those it's kids. It's fucking yeah. great. I, I have to agree with you, Johnny. I really do. I, I like them, but, uh, but the ones in the middle that seem so fucking yeah. entitled, I, I want to yeah. choke them. Yeah, it's like, ones. asshole, get it. stop living in your car and go deliver fucking pizzas yeah. or something. Yeah. So you make $30 a day. It's more than you're making sitting on your ass. Yeah. Well, oh, but, but it's that's below dead. them. Yeah, I, went, I have a college degree yeah. and my mom loves me and I'm special. It's like, no, you you're not special. You're living in a car, you freak. Well, dude, uh, art artists are almost the worst because they'll they'll be like, uh, there was a dude in Atlanta, a really great artist, graffiti guy, and every time I would try to have him do a job, he had these ridiculous prices, <laughs> and I'm like, like, why is it so? Exp-? He's like, well, it's my work, bro. That's what it's worth. And I go, what do you get? What do you make off of art now? Nothing. I said, guess what? That's what it's worth then. Yeah. <laughs> so you should. Try and just make something and get like That's if right. you just have all this great fucking artwork in your basement and nobody sees it. Congratulations, yeah, yeah, right. that does you no good. Yep. In the beginning, you have to get your shit out. And I'm you, gonna you'll be discovered. Yo, every <laughs> and everybody now with their jokes on the internet, oh, everybody's man. like so tight with putting shit on the internet. They're like, I'm gonna burn that. It doesn't oh. shit change, and you got to write new jokes anyway. Right. Like worst thing that happens is somebody could still steal your joke out of mic. Right. Or whatever. They see you anywhere and then they steal your joke. Like the worst case scenario online, you're a, not million, that funny, man. a million people see it <laughs> right. and then they know of you. Right. Right. I just you're wrote something. Funny, I, I started performing it um, like during like about two weeks ago. I kind of was the whole mass controversy. It's like, do they work? Do they not work? And I said to myself, oh, you got to be covered. Your face has got to be covered. And I'm like, yeah, but aren't there a lot of dead Muslim women who had their face covered and <laughs> didn't help them at all? Like, well, that's <laughs> right? 
That's is there is are it, it they having turned a turned into a meme yesterday. I was like, uh-huh. you stole my job. Oh, yeah. <laughs> is uh, what are the numbers in Muslim countries? Because they've always had masks on. Yeah. That's unless right. they're in the house. Well, the women have. At least it. the women. Yeah. yeah. The that's women. still whatever percent. Of, it's got to be close Taliban to Those Taliban women are covered from head to. They, they only have like a mesh to see through. Dude, their I. Eyes. That's true. I used to say I, I went really hot and right there. I went over there a couple know, times. How do you even know they're women? And I was uh, like, yo, yeah, they have really hot eyes nothing. over there. Yeah. You base yeah. it on nothing. I, well, I was talking yeah. to a guy who was They could just be slender men. Because they're against gays hiding. over there. Yeah, but that's they throw what, them that's, off a roof. That's what they say. They probably <laughs> love no, I've seen plowing that dudes. I've seen them I'm throw gays off a roof. I'm sure. But no, you know. I'm totally joking. I've never I was seen that happen. That that yeah, you're like, yeah, well, yeah, I go I go on vacation there to watch them throw gays off the roof. I was in Abu Dhabi a couple years back. There you go. I like it. Face coverings their entire lives, and they got COVID. Yeah, Think and it's about like, it. yeah, the N95 is supposed to be the one that, and nobody wears that anymore. Pakistan, 222,000 cases. Iran, 235,000 cases. Turkey, 202. Saudi Arabia, 202,000. And India, 626,000 cases. What, they're, what they're, was the, what was the number in Iran? Two hundred and some odd. Iran is two hundred and thirty-five thousand. Yeah. and people are saying women. people are still Those sticking every to male. the uh, that five G causes all this stuff, and it's like, well, then how is it in Iran? Well, I don't think they're <laughs> still sticking to that, are well, they? they? Have 5G in Iran. Oh yeah, so like so totally. No, it's, com- still it's, say it's, that? it's coming back, bro. It's like fucking <laughs> the five G one. Five G is too p- too many people started talking about back. it, so then they backed off. Yeah, it's coming back. I'm gonna tell you. And and you're now, right. and well, now, you know, yeah, next week, 5G. <laughs> Wait a second, 5G, 5G is so G, hot right the now. 5G <laughs> that they've released here, though, that like if your phone comes yeah, up and says 5G, that's not the real no. 5G. And what they're, they're lying to me? They're soft selling 5G. Yep, yep, so yep. You end up seeing 5G on your phone. And you, and get you get used, used to it. it. And then all of a sudden, when the 5G yes. gets turned to you real get a 5G headache. and all the people start dropping dead, that's yep. when it's going to change. Yes, yes. exactly. Uh oh. Yeah. That's not real 5G. And you know how I know and that? that was episode I have a, seven. I have a friend <laughs> from I met on Zoom, Chinese girl, and she actually Get knows. Get your mic. She's got, oh, I'm sorry. She's got 5G on her phone. She's got a Chinese phone, and she works for uh, uh, Chinese banking, and she's like, you don't have 5G. It'll say 5G, but it's not 5G. Yep. And she'll show me these speed test numbers that are real 5G. You're like. Holy shit, this is not 5G what we've got here. So we're being have so the, sold that. They have the website before they even finish typing the fucking URL. Yeah. It's already up on their phone. I mean, uh, the 5G Yo. is going to come back. That conspiracy is coming back. It's, but it hasn't gone anywhere. I just nah, don't understand. Definitely, I, think it, I think it fizzled out for it a little bit. It slowed for a while. Yeah, because everybody had other things on well, their Well, because people were like, oh, in, Ch- you know, in, Chi- in Wuhan, they're fucking, wa- the videos of people just shaking and dropping on the well, floor. Well, now there's yeah. new uh, diseases coming. Do you guys hear uh, that? Yeah. yeah Bubonic some. plague. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck oh, yeah! Well, that was the the, the uh, prairie dogs at uh, Dicks. Yeah, I think the plague is easy to manage though. Yeah, it the, is. in these days. Yeah, just totally. Like take killer. take a shower. Yeah, you know I yeah. don't know. Don't well, eat, don't it, eat it, fucking garbage off the street or drink sewer water. Damn, it's usually how it goes. Or don't let like rats bite you. But here's you the pr- it's not rats, it's the fleas. And I'll tell you an awful story. Uh, my wife used to work at a pharmacy in Newark. I won't say which one. Um, but she would come home with these sores on her legs and not know what it was from, and we ended up going to dermat flea bites. Woof. But they're very, they're very mm. common in urban areas. It's yeah. It, people have old carpeting that hasn't been changed in like a hundred years, yeah. well, you know, fifty years, and these fleas live in the carpet. They're so hard to kill. Yep. And they can jump like three feet up, so they jump up three feet, bite you, get their little meal, jump back down, live in a rug, and <laughs> do their little flea things. Bastards. Yeah. Yeah. I've been bit by fleas before. It's it's no. And they are. That's a rough bite, man. It is. Those and they'll get you. Scabies. Yeah. You Dude, it's like being stabbed <laughs> with a pencil point. That's how bad those flea bites can be. Bastards. Anyway. And then what's the? There's another I've one. I've gotten chiggers. I love that. What's that? Your, like, like, <laughs> <his speech. laughs> What's that? They live in your <laughs> ears. <laughs> Here comes the bald guy. What do you say? I never <laughs> caught him in there. I never got him in the ears. <laughs> My friend's place. It, actually, the guy we were talking about earlier that couldn't find me pain pills after I ran out and I was hurt. Uh, he had chiggers in his place. I kept getting them on my legs, and <laughs> oh you no. can't get rid of them. You gotta like scratch them out. Yeah. Uh-huh. What is this? Yeah, they're little bugs, and they they're get like up ticks, under your skin. They get under your skin. They tunnel. They're yeah. tunneling ticks. Yeah. Oh, man. So what they do is they eat the uh, flesh and then it, or like they like bite and they spit something and then it turns inside into like soup. Exactly. And oh, then they eat the soup. 
Yeah. And what does it look like? So is it? I don't know what it actually looks like. They're so small you can't see them. You can get them in New Jersey. C H I. No. Yeah, it's like a southern thing. Yeah. This was at a carnival that they yeah. guys didn't pay oh, you. Like man. ticks. They get in and they start oh, moving. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I wish the t- it's like kind of washed out on there. Oh, yes. Yeah, if you guys are on audio too or whatever, just look up chiggers. They get up under your skin. They make big sores. Wow. They They're itch like a motherfucker. Why'd you ticks. get rid of them? Right. Um, you, you call the cops? <laughs> 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 uh... <laughs> You got to, like, scratch them out, or you can put um, glue. <laughs> if you get a little bit of, like, uh, super glue and put a drop over top of oh, it. You're it such a fucking Ginzo. Them. I fixed it, it with super glue. Yeah. It does. Shut it's like you, g- you get some dirt and you rub well, it I don't on say there. The F word. Shut your gay mouth. Yeah, well, why don't you guys look up you the know, fucking... Why don't you, too. you got the fucking Google-ator here. Why don't you guys look it up if yeah. you're not going to listen no, to no, this? No, I'm saying it's super glue. You suffocate them. I was on a job... And a Ginzo was running it. I cut half my finger off. I should have went to the fucking hospital. He goes, hey, just give him a little super glue. Yeah. Sh- yeah. Home remedies. You're like, what the um, fuck? I go, you're shooting this super glue. I, uh, this eyebrow, did yeah. you see the big thing in it? Yeah. It split open like <gasps> a half an inch or more. Oh, my God. And they sounds um, awful. Super glued you. Yeah. They, I thought you guys were talking about that. They pushed it back together, super glued it, or like they have skin stuff or whatever. It's, it's the same thing. And then like a week later... Uh, the glue pulled off with my whole eyebrow, so I just had one oh, eyebrow. Wow. And my whole uh, thing here was all swollen, like there's still a big knot under there, so I just like fucked up. I wish we had a picture of that right I now. I was like, D- and it, you know how long it takes eyebrows to grow back, dude? Yeah, like not for weeks. you and I, but yes. <laughs> weeks, weeks, dude. For, <laughs> <laughs> for most people, it's years, dude. Most wow. people would still not it's have a good eyebrow. You people like, that's a wrap. <laughs> most people that got a tattoo now. Guess what? I got one eyebrow. He's like, you know how long that takes? A week. I would get one of those frustrated. It was like no, three weeks. And just like blew yeah. it down a little bit, like a yeah. little toupee for my eyes. I, <laughs> I feel like I colored <laughs> it in <laughs> at one point. If you, d- douche, if you if you shaved your eyebrows right now, they'd grow back before the end of the show. Oh, <laughs> Gar- <laughs> guaranteed. That's what I, got it. That's what I have to do to keep. Like it you down. wouldn't even notice. Yeah. D- yeah, I think that's what you should um, do. Is you know how people like donate their hair for like donate wigs? My eyebrows? You should I- donate your fucking Dude. eyebrows. People I look like uh, what's that? Alopecia. <laughs> Some fucking you know a little. Right on Put their a face. super glue on the end of them. Yeah, bro. Them again, right. th- so <laughs> it, su- if the super glue people are listening, which I feel like they are, we could use a sponsorship. Yeah, we definitely could use a sponsorship. Super and glue, I will shave my the, the official everyone. medicine of the you Italian know, community. Will sponsor anything? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> ah, Flashlight, well, Flashlight, sure. Yeah, fuck it. They'll give you giveaways. Talk this about Andro? <laughs> oh, an, oh, uh, oh, Naro. We're gonna do. We Andro. talked about it. Like, this is the free thinkers. A podcast we were going to do um, a special on the Patreon called the Free Ballers Podcast, yeah, and it was just going to be cameras underneath the table. <laughs> at our yeah, it's the exact so, same audio, yeah. but it's just shot under the table. I almost drove off the parkway. <laughs> talking, <laughs> Clint, Clint and I are having our, our, our think tank of what we got to do for the podcast, and we're talking, <laughs> we're oh, talking shit. about, and he's like, we're like, how, you know, how can we monetize? And we're talking. About so we put GoPros under the table, uh, yeah, and just while the free no thinker, underwear, yeah. So every once in a while, wear, like, I told I told them like, like once we get enough, <laughs> yeah. I said that. He I said, said yeah. that. St. Patty's Day wear a kilt for St. Patty's. I said right. you never wear underwear. Sometimes you wear basketball well, shorts. Sometimes they're a little aren't, shorter. Aren't kilts Scottish? I don't know. Whatever. Whatever fucking it's holiday they have. <laughs> 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 What's the Scottish holiday? Yeah, I don't know. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. It's it's not it's not St. Patty's. Yo, they're neighbors, aren't they? Don't they fucking hate each other? Oh, Probably. Hate we each hate other. New Yorkers. Like, what is they? They hate, I, I love New Yorkers. Yorkers. <laughs> they hate <laughs> us, but we don't. But but I was gonna say for like the <laughs> that the big episode. Once we start getting donations, I was gonna crush a fucking Viagra, throw it in his fucking white claw. So he has no idea. Yeah. And then bang! Yeah, just, how are watching? I watching? You, I think you would you would <laughs> taste a broken up Viagra nah. in your drink. Done it before, people. But don't you Allegedly. need some kind of stimulation to like kick it off? It's like you just don't get a run. No, I didn't say Cialis. I said Viagra. Viagra, just, yeah. I, Viagra, I, I've never taken Viagra. Viagra. Yeah, Vi- <laughs> if you Viagra, have a, you, you don't have a say in no, the matter. No, there's no choice. All right, I'll, all right. <laughs> I thi- all right. There's a, there, there's a statue of limitation. If you right? have a boner, for how long? More anyone than four smart hours. here? What's the statue of limitation? I'll tell a story. I don't know. I heard 15 I years. I, I've, yeah, heard, I've heard. I've heard. But what the fuck do I I've heard that's not a thing anymore. Okay. Well, allegedly one day we were. The statute of cancellation. Oh, one day. I was about to say everybody. Take notes so you can cancel the fuck out of Mike one after this day story. in the 90s. 
We were smoking a blunt on a porch, and we saw the mailman. This is right when Viagra hit the scene. We saw a mailman drop a package. Uh, actually, no. We saw a pharmacist drop a package on the, the guy in, across the street's house. So my one crazy friend, who's no longer with us, <laughs> so you can't get in trouble with him, he says, I'm going to go fucking take that thing. <laughs> he goes, there's probably some good pills in there. <laughs> so I'm like, hey, whatever you got to do. So he opens up. He's like, ha it's fucking dick pills. <laughs> and these are brand new Viagras. So now we're smoking, we're hanging out. Uh, this kid, dick pills. This, kid uh, this kid comes by, and uh, the people I was hanging out with were known back in the 90s to sell ecstasy. He's like, yo, you got any ecstasy? He's like, yeah, man, I got V's. <laughs> He's like, you never heard of them? He's like, no. He's like, they're supposed to be 25, but I'll give it to you for 15 right now. So he gives the kid the fucking Viagra. And we all know. Oh, he okay. takes the kid's fucking money. Oh. And we just watched this kid. We were all everyone stared at this kid's fucking dick. It's so disgusting, but we were all staring, waiting. And like twenty yeah. minutes later, this yeah. poor fucking kid. It was rock hard. And he had to go home. And he's like, I'm not really feeling much, but <laughs> 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 his dick was fucking. You know why like he went amazing. home? It's like a so he could jerk you, you off. You do know that yeah. that prescription probably cost that guy about four or five hundred bucks. Oh yeah. Oh wow. Yeah, we found out later <laughs> that that was a really expensive fucking package they stole from that <laughs> poor fucking guy. He just wanted to bang Betty. Yeah, he still poor couldn't fuck dude. his wife. Yeah, poor fucking guy. Oh my god. He had to wait another week to fuck his wife. Well, you know the funny thing about that is it's it, it, they say that he should have left the couple. Unless it's a he true vascular <laughs> disorder. Just leave half a one. Just like a couple on those doors. Uh, unless it's a true vascular disorder or the, you really have like a, a, a circulation <laughs> issue. Viagra is really not. All it's letting you do is fuck somebody you don't want to fuck. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Seriously. You got to be so tired of fucking that, is... that cow that you've been fucking for the yeah. last 25 years that you need a Viagra just to stick your wife. And that's the, that's where that's all about. See, you bring in a new cow, and you'll be able to fuck that new cow. But the old cow, you yeah. don't want to fuck the old cow. No. But the new cow, that you won't need Viagra. Yeah. No, I agree with that. That's funny. It's funny you yeah, call them cows. Yeah, I don't want to fuck no cows. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not into that. No, but it's all the, n- yeah, but it's the new ones. So, the, yeah, the new stuff that. is... Um, Always stimulating. Um, so, after you... Well, you didn't take it. I'm what? curious if you come, are you still just, like, rock yeah, hard? Yeah, so, no, listen, bro, you guys know me. I've given up. What does on that mean? I'm saying you know. I've, I'm, <laughs> yeah. I I try. Like, you know you know I try. I, I try. I come, rock hard for hours. <laughs> no, I try everything. <laughs> I try everything. So of course I've tried. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yes. So you one come time and I was you're in, still just like. Yeah, it's annoying. <laughs> it's annoying unless you have a bunch of in girls. Vegas allegedly a while back. The dude had, you know, <laughs> I met him at the club. He was like, hey, and I got some Viagra. I'm like, I'm like Viagra, I'm 26 like, years old. Yeah. And he's like, no, I just play, I'll throw them to you. So like a jerk off when everything was gone. And he said, take half. I took the whole thing. I ruined a day and a half. Really? Yeah. Fucking what? My cock was just like this table <laughs> for a day and a half. <laughs> you didn't, you weren't just like, I got to use this. on. Yeah. Something. After a while, something. though. Come on, man. No shit. I believe, especially in your 20s, like if you're. If you're an older God. dude, I can't believe it didn't explode, just burst open with as much. You already get massive hard ons when you're 20 yeah. something. Yeah, right. Like, no, how much was, harder it could it get? It would not. just rupture. Dude, with the amount of blood flow, if you got like, yeah. if you get, like a pin <laughs> prick, it's just like a fucking <laughs> yeah, faucet that's going on. Or, a, or a, a, a speech bump, you, you just, your heart is a rock. And yeah. all of a sudden, you <laughs> yeah. get this fucking. Oh, my God. Yeah, it was, it was not good. I wasted two days of my vacation, a day and a half. Jeez, if you only had a wheelbarrow, you could have walked around town with. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just put the whole. Fruit it was bowl just in there. yeah. It just got uh, so that's the difference between Viagra and I think I don't I don't know if people use those kind of things anymore. I think now they have the ones that work when you want them to work. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Just some uncontrollable rod that you yeah just that's make the go away. <laughs> jeez. Yeah. They talk about yeah. if your heart is healthy enough for sex, but jeez, you you you. you can you imagine, like, I'm getting my mileage out of this. I'm just going to keep going until my heart actually explodes. <laughs> I think that happened to a couple guys. <laughs> I think there's quite a few guys that happened to, man. That is interesting, though, if your heart's healthy enough for sex. It's like if you're in a hospital bed and hooked up to a bunch of shit, you probably shouldn't take these. Is that what they're trying to say? Oh, but let's be honest. <laughs> we've, all, we've all had, well, maybe you haven't, but I know I have. I've had periods of my life where I've been so out of shape that, you know, the, the, the 30 seconds and then the, uh, and then your heart's like pounding through your chest and she's like, hey. 
hey, what about me? I'm like, I'm dying. I'm dying. <laughs> I can't I can't do anything for you. I'm going to run to the store and get a Gatorade. You can't run. Do you need anything? You just lay there where your heart is pounding through your chest, covered in your own sweat and shame. <laughs> <laughs> so I brought Clinton's wings upstairs today. That's why I felt like walking up two flights My of stairs. My wings? You didn't bring food up today. I felt like I was dying. Well, that's an issue. You need to work on that. <laughs> it's fucking... Yeah, a little treadmill goes a long way. Yeah, works. exactly. <laughs> exactly. That's my point. His Peloton's coming. My Peloton's coming soon. Oh, you, 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 oh, really? Yeah, I got one coming. Wow. He's over it. Yeah, yeah. I, gotta, I gotta get back in shape. This is gross. This quarantine's got me fucking... I, I, so many people I know are in shape right now and all this stuff, and I did the opposite. Me too. I didn't drink for a year. As soon as quarantine happened, I started drinking again, started eating carbs, <laughs> stopped working. I did the opposite of everyone else. No, I wouldn't didn't. say I everyone. The same thing you did. My cholesterol. Yeah. I don't even want to know what my cholesterol yeah, is. I don't right want to go see a doctor either. Not even, not even it, a little bit. Yeah, it's funny because I, uh, a do- I, I had a, one of those virtual Zoom meetings with a doctor, and she did my blood. And she's like, wow, you really made some great changes. Blah, 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 blah. I'm like, I don't fucking want to see her now. Yeah, she fucking yell at me. <laughs> put me on. So they, they took your blood virtually. No, she had no, it. It was like a week. Honestly, it was like it was like two <laughs> weeks before. Thanks for clarifying. It was like ten. We- it was like ten days before because I remember kind of being a little bit like, should I? Should we? It was kind of weird sitting next to a dude. I remember being kind of weirded out in the doctor's office because like I was following that virus. And, like I was scared of the virus. I'm not going to lie. I was very scared of it in the beginning. You guys know that when you were making it in the lab. <laughs> when uh, mm. that's when it's most deadly. Right. When you're in confined space like that. And right. It's first. When, when you have, like, the Petri dish. Yeah, exactly. And you you just first. take a big sniff over it. You yeah. Know. Ah, Mike's, wear, it. Mike's wearing his fucking chef gloves. He's fucking He's got Petri his dish. Uh, ninja suit on. I'll tell you what, though. I've been to three suit. different doctors. <laughs> I've been to three different procedures. I've had two procedures done. And I've been to th- three or four different doctors during COVID, and I got tested once, and um, I don't want to know. I don't want to know that I didn't get my blood work done, and uh, I don't want to know. But I'll tell you what's really Did cool they give now. you the COVID test? Yeah, did you have to swab up your yeah. brain? No, oh, wow. I, I had the, uh, the, the, blood? the spit test. Oh. They, sw- they, they <laughs> rub the thing around in your cheek, and then you, they stick it in a thing. They spit in your mouth, and they're like, tell us if you're sick in 48 hours. No, but it's really quick. That test is fast because I, I went in for spinal injections. And uh, they, they didn't want anybody in. You, you, like you had to sit in the parking lot, and then they bring you in, and then they test you, and they take your temperature, and then they bring you into the surgical suite, and then you're isolated, and then it, it was it was some, it was an ordeal. But um, like yeah, surgery man, wasn't an ordeal. Like <laughs> that was the easiest all, part. It's all canned shit and beef, and there's not a lot of fresh foods available. Like I've been to the supermarket. There's no salad. There's no vegetables see so you're d- where do you live in the city i live in no where i live like? in uh nutley yeah see i'm out in the we're out here in the country boy we got what, what do you need lettuce yeah got gotcha. you peppers done maters <laughs> my wife works at, she, at a, she works in a shop right she's a pharmacist at the shop right in nutley and yeah they, they sh- we were lucky because we were able to get stuff but a lot of people couldn't get she's stuff. like hey no, trucks coming in mm. get here yeah, now we line. got the she fresh lettuce yeah you want, you want tomatoes? You I guys think it's tomatoes. coming back? It's not it's depressing. We should be talking What's about coming it's coming back. What? You know, the real lockdown shit. Absolutely. Like we were in March. Uh, totally. Yeah, yeah, That's why I'm going to blow all my vacation it'll, days it'll like, real September soon. It'll be September and October, and then <laughs> after the election, it'll be, okay, go do whatever you want. It's no, af- yeah, after the election, all of a sudden, that whole, like, well, it's going to disappear. It's That's gone. when it's going to disappear. It's, it's like, no, gone. you know, December 3rd, all of a sudden, they're like, yo. It's crazy, craziest December thing. December third, November third, and November, no, November by November tenth, it'll all be over. No, they're not going to say craziest thing it disappeared. They're just, just not going to say anything. It. Yeah, it's going to, yeah, it's just com- s- completely change the narrative. Boof. Boof. Yeah, I, was, I, I don't, yeah. Wait, I don't say, know. We I didn't, didn't hear say anything. What I was yeah. right now. COVID. What? Do you think our lovely governor? No, I was going to say like a school or God forbid a concert or a school. Something just get shot up on that day, and then that's what we look at. Oh, that's true. And well, I didn't want to well, say. Well, I, don't I didn't think there. of the actuation of actually. Like how to get us off of it. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Oh, no, there needs to be a. This, no, this made Las Vegas massacre look yeah, like nothing. Yeah. And we all glued to that. Yo, th- forgot about how it. How many people were killed in Las Vegas? Fifty-one. Was it? Yo, was there was still more in Chicago, like Fourth of July. Yeah. Think about that. 
Vegas was crazy though. Was it only? Was I was it? there. Only that's sick. They say only. Were 51. you really? I, think I was. was I, think I was, was literally in an Uber going from the airport oh, no to shit. my parents' house when that shit went down. Really? Yeah. My father was there too, and I freaked out. I was like, "Get out of there!" You were there while, while I, it was going down. We, we were driving past it. We were. My parents lived in Centennial Hills, no and shit. plane lands, and you know you could see all the lights in the concert and shit going yeah. on, and you know from the plane because you come in. And uh, we got it. My mother's like, "Oh my uh, god, thank God you made it!" I'm like, "What do you mean, thank God we made it? What's going on?" She's like, "Look at the new-. and yeah, they were, shit was going down." Fifty eight. Sorry. So you you flew in after it happened? I, as it was happening. Like, uh, I, did you well, see the helicopters? Did you see any helicopters? I, I no, because okay, you see the strip where it is like yeah, that. Yeah, I'm on familiar with the Vegas. other side of this strip is a highway, like yep. like way far uh, way over. So that's like the strip. But the highway is on the. Uh, the uh, yeah, like over your, this side. On yeah, on your right hand side. Oh, yep. Side. Back on that over there, so you see the strip, but you don't see what's going on there. Mm-hmm. So we shot out to Centennial Hills, which is, uh, I guess, west of Vegas, and um, of the of the strip. And uh, yeah, when I got home, my mother's like, "Oh my God, did, which way did you go?" And it was like the Uber took me. You know. Yeah, man. Didn't see any of it. That was crazy. That was fucking nuts. That, Math, that one, that, oh, one is, that was a strange. That's a real strange one too. Talk about conspiracies. That's a real strange one. Yeah. I feel like that one got shut down so deaths. fast. I feel like that one was like there were so many holes in the story. They're like, all right, we're gonna. S- I think it was Dude, like you, you won't hear anyone talk about this probably ever, ever again. again. Yeah. No, I mean you, Sam's done a couple of episodes, but yeah. Well, you, but you, yeah, you I know, know what you're I, saying. You know yeah. What I mean. No, I know what you're saying. And like there was no. just so many the holes. real news. There were oh, so yeah. many holes in this story. Yeah. Let's let's tune into so many any of those right now and see what they're talking so about. So many holes Don't in Alex this story. Jones, you, you start talking about it and people who got shot are going to come after you saying you you traumatized them again and try to sue you. Yeah, well, if that's the case, then I'm really Sue me for what? I was going to say, I'll fucking, I'll fucking <laughs> rocky I'll him. I'll tell you what, the survivors of Sandy Hook successfully Sue. mounted a campaign against Alex yeah. Jones and got him pulled off a lot of platforms. Yeah. Yeah, that, that uh, yes, yes, yes. Um, it's an interesting, that's an interesting. If you pull me off any platforms, there'll be like four people that are like, <laughs> oh, <laughs> what happened to there, yeah. <laughs> there, you know, you're like, there'll be four people that might notice. <laughs> You know what came out of that, though? You, if you go to Gab.com, that is a Facebook um, competitor. It's Gab.com? It's a uh, uh-huh. yeah. uh, social media. But that came from what? Uh, that came out of Alex it. or yeah. the... This is, this, is, this is like QAnon and everything oh. else Oof. that uh, you don't see. And what I really found out was there are... Sign you know, up, Henry. Make yourself mad. No, I'm good. tone in this country is... <laughs> Huge. Yeah, it's weird. Thanks shot. anyway. The what? You, you know what? You're right, John. It's weird, and I don't. That's what we we're going to talk about in the other podcast. Is that there's there's a lot of people that are really thirsty for truth and sick of the mainstream media, but there's a lot of undertones that that just make each other fight with each other, such as anti-Semitic. Like, yeah, sure. There's a lot of Jewish bankers, whatever, but that's not. Uh, uh, I don't know. That's a it's it's a uh, diversion to right. get you to go there. Just kind of like that's kind of where I am with Q. Q has put out a lot of information that's woken people up. Right. But now everyone's rah 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 Donald Trump, and it's like, well, that's is the, it, there's just so many little things um, that go on in the truth community right. that that just fucking they they got everyone fighting with each other, and that's the oldest fucking trick is divide and conquer. Right. What did the truth, right when what did the truth or Q community say when? They, yes. When they asked him about oh. fucking jizz stain Maxwell, yeah. and they were like, "What? Well, so what? Well, uh, you know, wish you well, wish you well." Did Did Q tell him to say that? Did, did 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 they tell him to fucking completely ignore the question? I think he was just being polite. Oh, polite. Oh, okay. So he so he'll t- he'll call he'll call guys that fucking that kneel because of police brutality. He'll call them fucking sons of bitches and all this shit. Think, he'll say he'll say things like that. He'll say things like that. But. But when there's a fucking woman who is an absolute monster, the worst kind of fucking piece of trash, not even human anymore, right. so you wish her well, get the fuck out of here. Like, well, stop. I, I, like, I, all of it. It's all <laughs> it's, 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 it's all, it's all I, bullshit, I, listen, dude. I'm on, the phone with, I'm on the phone with all these people that you guys see uh, on the internet and all that. I'm on the phone with a lot of them. 
And I no always, one's got anything to say about that? No, and I always fuck with them. I haven't talked to them since this. But whenever there's something like that, because there's a lot of cute things like that that don't make sense, and I'll say, Did, did, did they optics. tell them to say that? Optics. No, Wait they say second. optics. They the always optic say what? 5D it's chest. No, I'm just, I'm just telling you what they will say. Optics, 5D chest. That's why I'm so sick of this fucking Everybody cute thing. explains everything that if they like somebody. It's like, oh, they exactly. It's an echo away. chamber. That's my point. Well, it's well, an echo chamber. Well, you, well, can't be, is, you can't be. Uh, you know, Epstein was in jail, but didn't you want to wish him well? But he, apparently, apparently he wasn't. It, he who's no, <laughs> he didn't like, kill dude, himself. This is, I'm this sorry. Is, this is your one the chance. The man did not kill himself. This is your one chance to be like, you know, like, oh, hey, we're gonna see what she's got to say. You know, I guarantee some people are gonna are finally gonna get locked up. He could say all that stupid fucking bullshit that he's been saying for three and a half years about lock him up, lock him up. This is a real thing to lock people the fuck up for. Everybody thinks that, that Hillary and Bill are the ones, or, or at least Bill was the one that was fucking kids every five minutes. Well, so why wouldn't he faces. Why wouldn't he fucking go out there and be like, <laughs> well, see, I told you. And Q is, yeah, we told him to say, uh, you know, I, I aced a cognitive test that shows that I didn't have fucking Alzheimer's. Like, like again, it's just, I don't know. It's, 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 it's just cherry picking. It's like, oh, yeah. let's Let's do a little of this, and we'll throw a little of that out there. It's fucking nonsense. Why don't you look it nonsense. up? Nonsense. Look up what? I, I mean, I kind of agree with you on that. I got to be honest. I don't... I But what they are saying, and I'm not saying I agree with it, is that, oh, it's a federal case. He can't say anything. <laughs> I think... I, I, you know what I think, he though? Can, he I can only, he can only interfere a, in federal cases when it fucking... When it suits his policies or keeps him out of trouble. That's when he can co comment on federal cases. But when it comes to fucking someone that facilitated fucking how many, how many fucking children uh, were abducted? How many children were fucking murdered? How many children were fucking were fucked on a regular basis? Then he can't comment on any of that shit. But if there's any other kind of federal case, no problem. He can fucking, he can, he can do witness intimidation. He can say, Oh, this guy's fucking awesome. I can't wait for him to get away with this shit. He can fucking commute sentences. But when it comes to something serious, a real life fucking situation. The guy has nothing to say. Like, st oh my god. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, folks. But I didn't it doesn't mean to get all upset. Doesn't pertain to him directly, and those other things kind of. Oh, did. I, th I think this kind of pertains to him directly. I don't know. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, I think so. I don't know. We'll I don't find know. out I don't for know sure. If he's a kid he Ooh, did I do. I don't know. Yeah, I feel we like can tell. Mm. Okay, Henry, settle down. We get it. You <laughs> despise <laughs> Trump. It's written all over the room now. <laughs> if, uh, it's on the ceiling. Actually. I think if he was... <laughs> if I he just don't understand the, the select... Like, how people have blinders... I get it. We heard it already no, it's for not five about, minutes. It's not about... No, it's not about getting it. Uh, you know, it's not about, like, me hating We get your guy. point. All right, but I just don't understand why uh, we don't else. either. Neither do we. We don't have a fucking answer for you. So, to talk about it for four minutes and ask the same question over and over, why didn't he? We don't fucking know. I get it. I, think I agree. Why, why would he say that? And neither one of us are, or none of us are in here sucking his dick about, well, he did it because of whatever. So we don't know. Nobody has an answer you know for the, you. To, not, to, not to make you freak out or anything, <laughs> not to make anybody go crazy, but I think he just he speaks in like pleasantries sometimes, and I don't think he means what he's saying a lot of times with that. So it's like, uh, like, like uh, yeah, there were Nazis there, and there were some Antifa there, and, uh, and I'm sure people. there were some good people too. You know, it, it's just like You're the like, pleasantry of it. You know, he just he makes that because a lot of New Yorkers are like that. They just take like longtime New Yorkers. They just yeah. take that extra effort to just like be like waffle on it you know what i mean so it's like i'm oh i'm sure there were good people there um yeah uh yeah she's a piece of shit and uh she's gonna be in jail and uh i wish her well like uh, you know maybe maybe it just means that uh hope he doesn't find her dead from apparent suicide in a uh in a jail cell and yeah maybe, maybe that was it i don't know why would they why would they wait they have her now and she went yeah, into they're like she's going to trial next week and then they're like okay July 2021. I'm like, what the yeah. fuck are you people what's the, what's doing? The, what's well, the what about exactly? Anthony Weiner's computer that had all the, the one called life insurance yeah. that yeah. had everything? <laughs> How long ago did they get the fucking computer? Yeah. Like, yeah. They haven't disseminated I that mean, information that yet? That obviously shows <laughs> that this goes way the fuck up it's, with it's all these really, stuff. This is really deep. This yeah. is really deep. And that's where, you know, people need to fucking, By everyone's got to get together. You know why the government bought up all that parkland, right? Why? To hide all those child corpses. <laughs> I I'm, I'm, uh, yeah, I'm, do you sense. think that that's nuts? But it's. I think my is that, theory. Is that why they bought up all the the Disney Parkland too in the probably. fucking fifties? Yo, was my the CIA, theory. CIA built up. My theory is that all those kids, Area Fifty One. Why <laughs> the fuck are they so on Area Fifty One? Because there's that's the kid base. 
No, that's where the aliens are. No, that's where the that's reptilian the shapeshifters are coming through. They want you to to get off. They're like, they totally think it's aliens, yeah. but it's fucking. I did see kids. some fucking video that yeah. you would love this. I guarantee you. I swear, it. that's my what fucking. It? It's some some guy, and they were he was uh, he was introducing Obama, and he had fucking. Oh. Legit, like fangs coming out of his face. <laughs> I never seen anything like it. I was like, "Did he fuck?" You know, like, like bring he up, was. Bring that up. I want to see. God, what was his <laughs> name? Dude, the guy. Uh, I can't think of his fucking name. If this is the guy, I if think you're Count gonna Dracula. bring up. He may have been my neighbor. <laughs> I'm not kidding. Jewish guy. My, my neighbor gave the keynote address at Obama's nomination. Oh yeah. At the DNC. Yeah. Oh really? General Scott Gration. Well, you're just talking to yourself. Cool. Did I? Uh, you yeah, I had some weird shit come through on my wireless system uh, over there. I, I had oh, I when that guy out? lived across the street oh, from me, he was a some. special envoy to the Sudan. Doesn't matter. During Obama, and he come, the guy comes up to me and he goes, "Oh man, you got to meet Obama." I'm like, "No, thank you." He goes, "No, you got to meet Obama." I'm like, eh. "I said there's a lot of procedures to go meet Obama." He yeah, goes, exactly. He's so cool. He's like the coolest guy ever. <laughs> and I'm just like, "No, no, it's fine. I, I really don't need to meet him." You're like, "Hey, just t- <laughs> let me just tag along with you next time you go." Yeah, no, he was. You know, it was really funny. He bought the house across the street from me. He was, um, he, he for some, he was a uh, Air Force general. And he was stationed in South Africa. His wife is South African. And I would get the craziest shit pop up on my wire, like on my Wi Fi stuff. Oh, no uh, shit. And in my, yeah. And, and a lot of their shit was piggybacking on my fucking router. Uh-huh. Oh, and fuck. like, I was like, dude, my systems were. Definitely. Oh, they were like oh, borrowing. Oh, the fuck out. Oh, yeah. They were borrowing. Oh, my God. Hey, here, yeah. here, here yeah. you go. Yeah, I've seen Homeboy before. You've seen this guy, right? Yeah. He does a lot of weird things. Oh, that's your Tilly. neighbor? Yeah. Oh, no, that's the fan no, guy. That's... His eyes shake. I've seen this guy a million is times. Is that your neighbor? No. Oh, okay. no. Yeah, his eyes shake. Oh, he's a reptilian, dude. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's, he's Wait, from, what, they didn't show the... He's from what Cygnus. What the fuck? They didn't show the fucking close-up. That's why. They cut it out, dude. Yeah, this guy, I've seen him. No, come they... Up. Dude, I saw it, like, a his eyes fucking shake, couple days ago. Mind. Dude, he had legit... He had a mouthful of fangs. Yep, I know exactly what you're talking about. I love about. it. This, this guy's been dead for... Oh, Yo, shit. Yo, oh, that yeah. guy looks Voldemort. like a fucking... Yeah, you guys don't know about him? <laughs> I've seen that before. Yeah, that's a Secret Service guy that straight up... You talk about yeah. repti- reptiles. Yeah, or... straight up shapeshifter. Yeah. Look at his ear. His ear, yeah. his head... It looks like it like bumps out and meets his ear. Yeah. Wow. Is, is, what is this the guy fuck like a, is, is that? This guy a veteran Dude, or something? Let's just pray that guy never comes to this fucking place. I mean, maybe that's thing. true. Maybe he was burnt or something. Maybe. Yeah, there's, you could, you, that guy's... That, you could... That guy you could research. There's tons of videos of him. Really? Yeah, tons. And then Michelle Obama's uh, possible penis. Yeah. There, there's some stuff. Hey, I've seen one of those. I've seen a couple of things swing, but hey, I'm not. I don't understand why. The, what is this? Yo, story? they cut it out because they were like. No, no, it's got to be a different video then because he, he's walking He's walking towards wow. him. Fuck. I, what is that guy's name? What is this lunatic's name? Guys, I don't know why I don't hang out with you all more. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I don't hang out with you Once the club is... Up, I live this shit. Yeah, once the club is operational, we're going to just be up here talking shit once all the time. I, once I hit YouTube, it's a fucking rabbit hole. Yeah. I'm, I'm down for five hours. It's... it's know. You know, uh, it's just... Have that problem. really put me over the edge. Holy shit. I never fucked with that. What did you say, dude? Gab. Yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, oh, oh. Gab is brutal. It's like a truther, uh, no, it's not, social. It's not, it's, no, it's completely. It's what Facebook should have been if it was completely what it was originally. Unfiltered. Go around the other side, Mike. No, completely sorry. unfiltered. It's what, it's what Facebook is supposed to be if it wasn't created by the CIA. Well, so what was the deal with Facebook? Uh, originally, it was for colleges because I was actually hanging out with this girl that was in college, and she's like, block. "Get on." Huh. This is a hundred. This is a hundred years ago. <laughs> Life lock? <laughs> what are you talking about? Yeah, what the hell are you talking about? Yeah, life lock is a company. No. Life log. Oh, life log. It's a company that was started the same day as Facebook. Let's the same exact thing. No. Life log, he said. Life lock? Life, life log. Oh, log. And he said it st- <coughs> was started by the CIA on the exact same day as Facebook. Huh. Oh, here's something you don't see. Um, I have I didn't see this anywhere in the news, but um, there's a T-shirts that say "professional kidnapper." <laughs> oh my goodness! <laughs> Jesus, that's pretty good. 
That's great. Is that great at this point? You'll definitely. Is that the next? Once they get over erased, is they just gonna call everybody a kid toucher? Definitely. That's fucking kidding me with that? Did th- no Clint, one? Clint, let's let's talk. About, yeah, I've seen this guy. He's but look at his look at him. Look at his teeth. Oh no! Come on, dude. Hold yeah, on, wait. I need shadow. cleaner footage. Wait, 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 wait. I know the footage is bad, but what are you gonna do? Just hold on. What is this guy's name? Grendel? Lee Rosenberg. <laughs> yeah. So you'll see Reptilian they they, they do shifter. watch 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 his teeth normal teeth normal teeth. Oh wait, what? And the blinking. What's with the eyes? Like, Look, he, 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 no. bro. That's gotta be. I yeah, mean, maybe you can shape uh, shift. You know. but. I mean, there's a lot of shape shifting videos. There's a lot of glitching. Have you guys seen all the glitching videos? Yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah. Al Roker. Mm. <laughs> you ever see that one for fucking? <laughs> I mean yeah. that's yo that's fucking crazy though you see you see his teeth. I Where's don't day? know. Maybe it's a shadow. Watch, ready, normal. So his psychic powers <laughs> weren't working on the camera at that <laughs> moment. <laughs> that's fucking wild. That is. I'm wild. just throwing it out there. You know. Hey, I'm happy. I mean, <laughs> oh, whoops. I'm happy you felt uh, you're into. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. oh, oh! You see now that's yeah, the see, kind of see, that's see. shocking. Ah, see. <laughs> God, yeah, that's. I'm into the, all the conspiracy shit. I'm not into that stuff. I'm not. I'm not, not into yeah. that that kind of stuff, man. Like it doesn't have to. I you say would a, love Gab because the stuff that's on here is just ridiculously good. It's it's like I said, it's what Facebook should have been. I'm so happy that I learned something new. It's yeah. It's Did really you guys look good, up LifeLog? No. no. It's that's real, guys. He was trying but, to find that guy. This is, uh, this is I was very, like, I was very concerned with that. Alex Jones on there. Alex Jones is on oh, there. Oh, they let him on there. Wow. Yeah. That's why I never on heard this him. platform. But it's more than just him. What do you guys think about Alex Jones? I'll tell you what. I don't know. I'll he's looking th- I'll tell you more how time right. That motherfucker's been right about more things than he oh, has. Oh, he's been right. But here's the <laughs> thing. I would love to be on the Alex Jones show one day. But he he woke. He, he, he was one of the people that helped wake me up years ago. Just like uh, Coast to Coast and all that stuff with Art Bell. Coast to Coast. Right? Oh, man. Art Bell was the fucking shit. But yeah, so like, now you talk about Jones, he's been right. Yeah. He also has built a character, and it's like, uh, when you really start peeling this onion, it's like, do they tell you a lot of shit? Like, is he intelligence? Like, why is he allowed to do that? Now, the argument is, he's been deplatformed. But he's not totally censored. And they have come after him. So he, I go back, I flip flop, and I know I'm a flip flopper. I flip flop with Alex Jones, but I'll tell you what: when a tragedy happens, the first fucking website I put in is Infoworld. <laughs> when something crazy happens, that's the first website I put in. You know, I actually still have the app before they deleted it or they censored it off of. Um, Get off on your mic. I'm sorry. I, I have the app. Um, I still and I can still get the live shows. You can't get that anymore. Oh well, yeah, I have to watch on my laptop. But yeah. Yeah. So now, now, which is crazy that they censored that. That's kind of crazy. Took it, they took it down. That's kind of crazy. They censored his app. I under, I don't understand or agree with all the uh, YouTube. That's probably why there's not a Pornhub app. There's not. Mm, yeah, you can. Is get there? That. You can. You can, on Apple. There's a way to make the app. Exactly, you, but it's not through the Apple Store. No, what you can do is you can go to Pornhub, and then you, if you take that web address... You're being a web nerd right yeah, now. Yeah, it's, like, it's a fire stick. Right? Yeah, exactly. Like, 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 are you paying for the UFC? Yeah, you listen, don't have a fire stick? If like, I can't I just it? show up at the app store and fucking download... Okay, well, there's an app you can do for that, too. It's called MeWe. <laughs> yeah, see, we're... MeWe, is, are, MeWe is the uh, Facebook of porn, actually. Huh? MeWe, the Facebook of porn. You woke up. Hello. What yes, does that this mean? Will, this will help you. Here, watch. MeWe. Another place chicks Me won't we. talk to me. You there got any information? Go. And, um, yeah, now it's I'm just reading like. reading about this now. Now I'm interested. It's just. Life log? That's what it is. Yeah. yeah huh. dude. Interesting. It's, and you can, you can you know, make friends and cultivate Trent your Trent Reznor happens to make a movie about, like, come on, stop. Yeah. Yeah. And, cool, and it's like, wonderful. Yeah. Like a fucking movie about yeah. computers. It's trying to load right now. Oh, it's still loading? Okay. It was, but then it stopped. Yeah, and it's 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 the uh, hmm. yeah it's yeah. great. Throw, throw these two twins into the mix, they become Bitcoin billionaires. And, like a and there's weeks, like, like your your friend list. There's your groups and such. That's and, hilarious. Yeah, man, it's uh, it, things exist. You gotta look look a little deeper. Yo, I didn't say That's that there it. wasn't a the porn Scratch social media. Service. I didn't realize that. I just said there wasn't an app on the <laughs> App Store because <laughs> Apple's like 
Yeah, they suck. Yeah. yeah they, they, they monitor and edit everything and child-proof the world. Yeah. Huh. Well, yes and no. That could be part two. Oh, uh, child-proofing the world? Yeah, that could be part two of the discussion. There's so much child-proofing going on, yet there's not... There, yeah, there right? is no actual safe place for children. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But we pretend that we <laughs> make the go. world a safer That's place it, for kids. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> They're safe proofing for adults, yet the kids are fucking... Well, Jeez. Well, Clint, how old are you? 40. 40. Okay, perfect. Do you ever remember kids disappearing when you were in elementary school? A little bit. Yeah. Really? Uh, yeah. Adam, okay. Adam Walsh. You remember, remember, I remember Adam like Walsh. Adam, Adam Walsh. Walsh. Yeah. I okay. don't know. He would have been our age. Yes. Okay. I wouldn't remember. 100%. So we are that. So kids did. never disappeared when I was a kid. I'm only a little bit older than you. It was milk boxes when, yeah. we, when yeah. we were there. No, yeah. no milk cartons. No. Yeah. Um, yeah, maybe there were milk cartons, but like. But it was very rare. My my graduating class or was the first out, graduating know. class that started with just as many kids as it ended with. That changed like immediately right after senior year. But my my graduating class was the first class. But before that, like kids would die, kids would get sick. But it's not like hey, did you hear what happened to Tommy? He just disappeared walking home from yeah. school one day. That, well, we don't know any. I don't personally know anybody. So that you don't know anybody. No. You don't know anybody. No. You don't know anybody. No. But somewhere in this country, yeah. millions of kids are disappearing yeah. Yeah, exactly. on a daily basis. Really? That's very true. <laughs> really? Because there's four of us, and That's we're from that? different areas of the yeah. state. Yeah. Are they really disappearing? Yeah, but it's not like I. I don't know. Uh, That's true. Well, then where are they coming from? They're making them well. in Area 51. <laughs> 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 it's just a big fuck fest in uh, Area 51. Definitely. And everybody's just pregnant and popping out b- new babies. Oh, well, John of God. So, it's like a soul cooking what? buffet over John there. Oh, God. Oh, now you got the soul cooking going on, too. That, this mo- is that motherfucker. <laughs> cooking. John Anthony, of God. Anthony yeah. Quinn would lose his mind in this room right now. <laughs> yeah, he should come anytime. Conspiracy. He can go. Yeah, he can go anytime. But uh, no, spirit cooking you guys are talking about. Mm-hmm. By John of God, I mean that's what he was doing. That was I don't that, even want that, to get into. I don't know. That's, you're o- that's about. Oprah's homeboy. My John, yeah, I don't even want to get into my. I just know I've had off record of conversations about John of God that I I don't think I'm ready to do on air. But uh, you guys know I'm susceptible to things, and let's just say I, let's John just say I got is. close. I got close to John of God. I'll just leave it like that. Whoa. Yeah, I did. Did he jerk you off? Mike? No, no, no. On this dot, on this, on this. No. Uh, white. Cop. I never point they're, where they're he touched you. Yeah. I never hung out with John. Point of God. where he touched you on this. I game. never hung out with John of God. Show us. Where he, he was on my you radar on before he did. He was harvesting children. We were saying. Oh shit. He had so he in Brazil. He was the um, healer of the stars. Okay. So Oprah touted him. Uh, one of the guys who I called a mentor, uh, Dr. Wayne Dyer, who really shaped my life, and I read all of his books. He touted him. That's where I got kind of caught up with John of God, and uh, he would have these ceremonies where he was healing people. But anyway, it came out recently that he is one of the biggest child um traffickers not only was he trafficking he was breeding Whoa. for trafficking now that goes back to what you said we so started said, this whole show 51. with that the guy that like does all the greatest works exactly. is usually the, exactly. the biggest offender exactly you know when i you, you have to all wear all white because it's all about god and love that's what he tells you when you talk to him i mean he was running some crazy dark it should be the biggest thing ever and all, all the stars were talking about how this guy could heal anything you know, now everyone talks about Abrina, and she's all the, the, well, the, look the at dark. Everybody that's related. Well, uh, so I'm saying I don't, I'm not ready to wow. talk about this on air, but uh, I, I was somebody who knew about John of God a long time ago. Wow. Yeah, it, it freaks me to fuck out, and it shows me that I don't fucking follow anyone. Now, does he, does, he, does he heal you, what, spiritually or physically? You or have to let him stories? fuck your wife, well, though. And yeah. then, oh, uh, no. <laughs> no. they didn't, he never told then you he that. can heal you but the stories were that he could remote i heal. just guessed i just guessed I there don't was even all know these the stories story. that he healed he healed everything from from everything and there was all these stories that you had to wear white and you go see him in brazil and he doesn't have a phone he doesn't check emails but he's got people that will check and if he oh. you know he doesn't take they, they would tell you he doesn't take money but you just got to make your pilgrimage to there but just make sure you wear white that was the biggest thing make sure you wear white oh, shit. and um it came out that this motherfucker, and I've read a couple books about this guy. Yeah, it was all placebo. Pre. I read, I read books about this guy before he was who he was, and he was literally had farms of women just pumping out kids, and they were sending the babies to China for organ harvesting. I mean, it oh, goes, whoa. and this is real. This is not like, 
no one could debunk this. This is truth. Wow. And Oprah. So he's basically like that guy in um, Game of Thrones that kept kill- giving his babies to the Night King. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. He's like, listen, I'm going to hang out here. <laughs> you guys Holy can do whatever man. you got to do. I'll make some babies. I'm going to make a bunch of babies. See all, these, and, uh, see all these women? They're my wives. I can take care of Slash daughters. And you know what's <laughs> messed up about all of this? Like, my they're wife my, and I couldn't have my kids. Waters. And we wanted kids bad. And to get a kid, it would it was, like, impossible. Yeah. yeah. It was impossible. It was, like, $25,000 just yeah. to a- apply yeah. Oh, yeah. to that's get a sad. kid. That's and it's like, wait a minute. My neighbor, my stupid half-retarded neighbor yeah. can, can just fucking have a kid. But, like, we're responsible people who really want a kid. And now we've got to f- come up with 25. Right. We have to bankrupt ourselves and, and, yeah. and like, do without to have a kid who's going to suffer in the long run. What? No, and Johnny, oh. and Johnny, and, and and you were saying where all those missing kids go? There's a lot of kids that need homes. Yeah. And you got to, you got to, like you said, bankrupt jump yourself. Through, jump through hoops. Yeah. And, and hurt, kill yourself to get one of those kids. That's probably where all these missing kids are going. Uh, if I they're guess. going in the United States. Most of them are going into foster systems, and you really don't get, all, you really don't get the opportunity. That's why a lot of the adoptions were coming out of Russia. Yeah. Um, and I even have a joke about it. It's like in America, we only buy white babies, and that's, uh, or no, it was Chinese babies, and. Um, yeah, it's weird, man. China with their one-child policy. Yep. They, I mean, they should be exporting kids like crazy, but yeah. they're not. <laughs> yeah. They're sterilizing people. Yeah, where? Right. Yeah, where are all the where are the girls? Yeah, where yeah. are the girls that you're not? You know, that, that, yeah. Exactly. Ooh, they've got a problem. What if China's problem. involved in it? They are. They are. Well, dude, they are, and, and uh, that's I'll why let, they made the fucking rule up. Well, they. I mean, all 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 his babies and the uh, organs were going to China. Aust- yeah, this, but my point this is, is Australia. They tell them. I mean, I guess the own the parents get rid of them on their own, so that's not a good theory. <laughs> yeah, I was saying they could uh, be taking them, but uh, they if it's their first, then they just get rid of the girl, right? Yep. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, and the weirdest thing in China right now is they have a lack of women. Uh, wonder See, that's why? Cr- that's well, crazy well, but, too. But they're man. stealing women. This is the crazy part. They're stealing women from North Korea. It's a big, big problem. They're stealing women from J- Japan. And, uh, and North Korea, because they, they, they're kind of like bordering countries. Uh, yeah. They literally steal women. Hong Kong, they've been stealing women out of Hong Kong, and that's not getting a lot of play, but they're, t- they're, they're just stealing I never heard women. I never heard of that. Yeah. They, they, they have a society that's very male-heavy. In fact, and, and do you know about the uh, the ghost cities of China? Yes, I do. I, we, we did a whole episode on this. Yeah, city, man. Yeah. They they built up yep. all these great plate, these cities. They've used so much concrete. They've tilted the axis of the earth. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we did talk about we that. We did a show. Yeah, yeah. Kind of, we touched on this part of it. And uh, they're ghost city. They're, they do that, and they buy up all the real estate in, in our cities. Yeah. And ghost city at that as well. And, yeah, and it's fucking nuts. They're saying that, like, you know, this guy had this this system going on for years and they yeah. said like even his daughter said that you know she was sexually abused for years as like a f- small small child and yeah. she finally ran away when she was 14 etc so this guy had this shit going on for a really long time and they said that oprah went there in 2012 mm-hmm. and then all of a sudden his fame and access to everything fucking went through the roof wow <laughs> She went there in 2012. Allegedly, sorry, I, sorry, I, Oprah. Don't fucking. I don't have anything to sue. No, for I anyway, um, So it was before 2012, but I also I'm, I, I'm not suicidal at all. I really love yeah. my life. Well, you know, you're hanging out with me. It's pretty trippy that Brazilian children can self-actualize and get things done at 14 years old. But yeah, in the United right. States, you can't get them out of bed. <laughs> you can't get them to mow a lawn. You can't get them to do shit. <laughs> oh my god, dude! It's a crazy world we're living in, guys. Yep. But. You know, but let's uh, let's go after the comics. You know. Oh yeah. Let's yeah, bring let's this conversation full circle. Let's go after the comics for and saying small, and small businesses for trying to for <laughs> trying to fucking yeah. for trying to stay alive. True that. And for the small businesses. You know, you know, is everyone excited to have nothing but fucking Chipotle and Burger King mm-hmm. and all this other garbage? Is everyone excited for that? Wouldn't as long as there's a Starbucks every fucking sixty feet, then we'll be fine. I've never. It's had all good. Starbucks. I don't drink coffee. Oh well, God. I fucking you're uh, <laughs> a lot different than I would have expected originally, Joan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. No, this guy's uh, come by here anytime. Man. Yeah, this man. guy's you all right. <laughs> you can chop it up anytime. Sometimes Absolutely. you talk about this shit. And people want to just leave. They're like, how do we get out? Oh, this shit's the best. They're like, 40. 
Uh, my you Ubers. ought to get my mom on the phone. Holy shit! <laughs> she would she would enlighten all of you. She's yeah? a maniac. Oh, nice. oh, my mother. Oh, dude, my mother gets up. My sister in law picks up the phone. My mother says, "Did you hear?" She hangs up on her. <laughs> nice. <laughs> And we're oh, gonna yeah. go to our gonna go to our first caller. It's a uh, Martha Hollywood, Mrs. Hollywood. <laughs> how are you? Uh, Dixie, actually. <laughs> Di- oh, awesome. Yeah. Yeah. So it's identical mirror twin sisters, uh, Dixie Lee and Debbie Lou. They're Jeez. meerkats. Were they bur- were they born here in New Jersey? No way. Iowa. Yeah, I was gonna uh, say. That's anyway. definitely fact, not <laughs> fucking New Jersey D- name. This is <laughs> Dixie and Lynn. My mom is the from, youngest. Okay, so my, my grandmother's last two children <laughs> exactly. were twins. My grandmother had thirteen children. <laughs> she was born in eighteen eighty five, was married in like nineteen No. <laughs> Like ni- 1899. Like Spit out all of these kids and I remember visiting my grandmother like like when I was in elementary school, and they were saying that if my grandfather was alive at that time, he would have been like 120. And my grandmother was still working at the time, so she had to be under 65. So this guy was like a 50-year-old yeah. man marrying a 13-year-old well, girl. Eh. Oh, yeah. my God. Yeah. I mean, that's, yeah. We should cancel him. I'm not. I'm not. Was <laughs> your great grandfather. Let's go back there and say Your grandfather's Sorry. canceled. God. Yeah. Uh, my dad's the youngest of eight. Yeah. Um, uh, you guys, you probably got a big, do you have a big family? A talent, Ginzo's from uh, Yeah, I mean, my grand. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. No? No. Just he, my family? He's, <laughs> from, <laughs> he's, he's from Florida, though. He's from, you know, oh, my, the, Miami Vi- the Miami Vice section. There's hundreds the of white, them. White suits and pink shirts uh, and shit. Yeah. Not the panhandle? No. Okay, so there's no. only a couple not of the funny, baby. <laughs> <laughs> my <laughs> mom is so political. When the nose beers were fucking <laughs> flowing like Coors Light. <laughs> Eighty-two-year-old uh, woman got got a face went to like Facebook this, jail. Man. My mom, she they put her <laughs> in Facebook jail. <laughs> Your mother's in Facebook jail. She was in Facebook jail. Eighty-two years old, she's <laughs> in on. Facebook jail. No joke, dude. Bro. Look, look, Clint, look. Clint's I, the booker of the show. She's Next just, week, <laughs> Next she's week. brutal with this. Dave Z. She Lou. just that she just keeps posting <laughs> right? all of this Dick, stuff. Dick, and, I don't even know how to do that, so I commend her. Yeah, she keeps posting. You know, That's pro amazing. cop. You know, pro kids, pro God, pro Trump, pro pro conservatism, pro Candace Owens. She's got a lot of <laughs> a lot of pros. Yeah, and she posts all this stuff, and she got she got banned. I'm mostly cons. Cool. My That's parents, awesome. My parents. Well, my dad doesn't even. He has a flip phone. They just. That's a G. We got him. A, well, actually, a. he just they forced him into an iPhone, and he's like he. They got him one couple years ago, and he literally used it for like one day, and he was like, nah. "Nah, yeah, give me the flip phone back." Good. I don't know why they're forcing him to. It's not like he's gonna fucking text on the thing. <laughs> My Showed mom with bumble. her twisted <laughs> fingers is just Dude. tapping away. Yeah, like a <laughs> my dad's a mechanic. <laughs> like you they never, he never even was on a computer. You ever. should just make you know erase everything on his phone except like a grinder app. <laughs> just leave that on there. You wouldn't even know how to get into it. It would be fine. <laughs> I don't know how to make phone calls on these things, but there sure are a lot of dicks. Very broad, wide mechanic fingers and just tapping something out on a screen like that. Yeah, exactly. No, he's got big, fat ass hands. Yeah, man. You got to get him like a a galaxy where you can use it. Yeah. No, you need one of those jitter (laughs) bugs. Oh, remember the jitter bugs? I need one of those. (laughs) I want one of those. (laughs) Fucking buttons. The buttons are like this. The speaker on it is like a is like a (laughs) kicker (laughs) audio with the amp. That's why it's so big. It's just all the amp for the speaker. The, the cell phone is great. Yeah, it's it's, like a, it's 4G and it get, and it has a hundred watt speaker. <laughs> <laughs> I need I need a jitter jitter bug phone. You can plug it right into your head. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> to your hearing Elon, aid. Elon Musk <laughs> version of it. It's like, what do I do with all these wires? Uh, it plugs yeah. into you your hearing pl- aid. You plug those into your eyeballs. You're all right. You're gonna be fine. Those are great. I think it's it's almost time to wrap up, but I have one more question for you, John. What do you think on simulation theory? Assimilation theory? Simulation <laughs> theory. Simulate. Oh, that we're living in a giant construct like yes. the Matrix? Yes. You're a big computer guy. You were talking about shit that uh, I have no fucking... No, yeah. I, don't think, I don't think we're living in a construct. No? Nah. I'm too much here. flesh. It's too oh, wet. Right? It's too wet, bro. That's true. Everything is too, every, it's too mushy and wet. It, it, the life, it, life is what it is. You couldn't simulate this. Although there were studies back... Like, okay, you want, you want to talk about sim, uh, simulations. Here's the, here's the thing. Remember that experiment they did years and years ago where they stuck an electrode in a monkey's pleasure center and they fucking gave him two buttons. One button released food. The other button stimulated his pleasure center. Right? Uh-huh. And the monkey fucking starved to death. 
Oh yeah, they did. That. They they tried that with like cocaine too, right? Say, that, they, was, that was Clint in fucking yeah. Idaho, yeah. fucking. So, so, yeah, and then Ohio. he just kept like taking cocaine. If we cocaine. were living in a, in a construct, there would be no f- hunger. There would there it would all be to the benefit of, of the people living in it. Like it, it, so, it would. Unless like, it's even like in the they Matrix, don't, but they even don't in the know Matrix, it. they made it, it, in the movie. The people were living these idyllic lives, right? Until yeah. they got the option to take the blue or the red pill, right? So you can live in this wonderful life that you've created for yourself and take the pill or, and, and, or, or, and see the real world. Yeah. Right? Like, I don't know about you guys, but I'm not living that fucking idyllic life that's so fucking no. great. No. I mean, I, I, yes, but have you, um, what if you don't understand that? And what if you don't know that you're in we, that? Well, you're that, like a you're like a background character almost. Yeah, a non, yeah. A non a, 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 like a, a, a non yeah. a non. Well, then I want to have a discussion character. with the programmer and say, "Hey, fucko, let's get this back on track." Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm no, saying? but it's like it's like in a video game when you have the main character who is like the playable yeah, character, Smith, and it's like and it's his story, rock. and then there's the if, people. If that in, was the case, if you know, that the was the case, then then there would be there's too many people. Okay, so somebody you're the else lead is character in your life. I'm the lead character in my life. When I leave, you guys cease to exist. That's the, no, that is it. That, that's that's impossible. So, you still exist. When I walk out of the room, you still exist. Yeah. You know what I mean? Well, it's but it, no, it, it would exist. be the same. You it don't. would be the same platform as like The Sims, though, because well, The Sims, yeah, right, the Sims right. is all is is different entities all like coordinating at once. Just because you leave a screen doesn't mean that they stop existing. But 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 as far as living in a construct, I believe you can put yourself in a construct. I oh, believe well, that you could sit home, sure. stick your face in front of the screen, play video games, watch TV, be a, a good consumer, and you've kind of taken yourself out of life and put yourself in a concert. So Well, then there's the same the same argument, though, for, like, meditation, then. So does, does people who... That takes you back out. That puts you in your own head. Yeah. Meditation puts you in your head. But again, I mean, but if, you know, if you're able to escape, it was, it was, escape the construct by... Putting yourself into no, no. See, that was pre. That was pre-electronic ways of tuning out. Okay. That was that was that was uh, uh, again mental masturbation. I think that that's what the computers and FaceTime <laughs> and YouTube so, and ga- video like games. That. Gonna, that's just mental that. masturbation. Like this that. goes. I don't understand this, but you he's seem. T- he's looking that up. You know, you, you under you you definitely understand computers more more than I do. Um, what about when these programmers and stuff say? about the ones and zeros and code mm-hmm. that they see this through life and That's they see awesome. this through like can you explain any of that or no okay um when they say they, they okay there's certain things in it that that, that are going to be true no matter what. everything in life there's going to be truth in life and there's also truth in programming you, it, it, everything's got to ring up true otherwise the program doesn't work mm-hmm. you see so there there's going to be um uh like biological mimicry, you know, like the uh, Fibonacci code. Yes, and that, yeah, that's and, what, yeah. Right. So that that's a universal concept that keeps coming up. And if it's mm-hmm. a universal concept, then it's going to come up in coding. It's going to come up in the ac- your actions. It's going to come up in different actions. It's, it's, that's unexplainable. <laughs> I can't explain okay. it. Okay. But, but for the other stuff, I think that, yeah, there's going to be uh, programming and uh, is going to mimic life in a way. Eventually, right? Maybe eventually we might get there. Well, you know, if they say that it's all about the ones and zeros, yeah, you can manipulate people with information, and that's basically yeah, what they're doing. And it's all, it's 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 basically what you were saying about you could uh, put yourself in your own reality is when I was thinking. No, was you could take yourself out of reality. No, no, no. You had said earlier you could sit yourself in front of the TV and put yourself into a reality by all the shit that you right, see. Right, 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 right. And I feel like. <clears throat> that's what people don't get with the uh, over, you know, dramatization of COVID is that if it's only because, like we said, once it stops being in the news cycle and people stop seeing it, yeah, it'll go away to yeah. people. It won't be this huge thing. Right. But right now you're inundated with it. So everybody's hyper focused on it. Right. So this is like the only thing that's happening. The reason. But why don't it is they to control the election? Well, it, well, th- th- that's my point. Tons of people die from pneumonia. Yep. Always have. Always have. Tons of people die from the regular flu. Right. Tons of people die from cancer. 20 million they, people died from H1N1. They sh- so why don't they wow. every day, why don't they go, another uh, HIV guy died? 
Somebody else from H1N1. Because, because the swine right flu now just killed come somebody. To a perfect storm. <laughs> they can. The. the, uh, the uh, pneumonia. No, no. Uh, the uh, the news media. People drinking ammonia. The, uh, what do you call it? Mainstream media. Uh, the Democratic Party. Um, uh, the New World. People who, who uh, in, um, endorse the New World Order. They have the perfect opportunity right now. It's the perfect storm. And if the Democratic governors can put the pressure on the people by maintaining these quarantines and keeping people from being able to get out and keep ideas from mm-hmm. circulating mm-hmm. they're going to be able to, to per, they're going to be able to control the election you if paper ba- voting mail in ballots i think it's mail in is is they want mail in so that do you hear that new york is still like they haven't uh figured out the elections that were uh like 3 yeah, weeks ago right. 25% of the things they just uh, threw out or something. Right. Did you hear that? There was yeah. no date on them, so no they didn't date. know they when the fucking out. things Wasn't were sent Wasn't signed properly. The signatures didn't match <laughs> the, 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 the voting rolls. Yeah. They threw it out. Yo, we have face recognition I on mean, our fucking phones. Amazon will fucking tell you if you're full of shit if the package didn't come to your house. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> like, come on, yeah. man. Yo, they're but, like... But something like voting. I mean, yeah. they're like, whoa. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. Like, we I can't make know. an app that looks at your face and fucking recognizes your face and then you go... Um, so Wait a second. So why can I go I'm to Why can I go to Target? Such. Why can I go to Costco? Why can I go to the supermarket? But I can't walk in and vote. Oh. There's a fucking curtain around the thing. I've never been closer to six feet that, than the people when I go in to put, vote. Just put the voting booths inside. Why of Walmart? are comedy clubs open? They should just put voting booths inside Walmart. Why don't they take the wow. voting booths and put them outside if it's not raining? There you go. Outdoor vo- like you outdoor can't shows. Do that. John, what? Yeah, right. I don't know. Oh, he just figured it out. <laughs> yeah, why can't we do that? I don't why know, but you can't. Why can't they set up tents outside and people go and vote outside? I don't know, but you can't. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay? I don't have the answer. Clint, Clint is <laughs> the not answer the answer, is answer no. man. no. I don't know what the answer is, but it's no. The Clint, point Clint being listen, is we're on your sh- show, so you, you, <laughs> need to, you need to have I all need the fucking the answers. answers. It's okay. all going to go away I'll in research. November. It's all going to go away when in November. When Bill Gates is the president. Oh Come my on. God. Uh, look, look, look at the other European countries. Didn't you? Yeah. Oh. I'm going to say this here. I hate to explain. Say I hate it. to say this to everybody. Do it. Trump's getting elected again. When I drove around the country yep. in 2016, at, all I see is on the news is that fucking he's got no chance. And every fucking yard I drive yeah, by truth. all the way across America has fucking Trump signs in it until you get to fucking New York and New Jersey. California. In California, on the very ends. Other than that, dude, they are outnumbered a hundred to fucking one. I think that not that not that Biden's any better because you know how I fucking he's horrible. You, you know how I fucking feel about that guy. Um, but if we can use oh, crime if bill, we can, use, one of the but, co-authors but, of the Patriot yeah. Act, yeah. give me a fucking. No, break. For, I mean not not for nothing. But you don't need to look any further than the videos of him fucking caressing kids' dude. faces oh, and shit. Yeah. Oh, sniffing them. So, oh yeah, dude. Just That's like, why they're like, like this. sniffing kids. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. and the racist <sighs> shit he pulls. Oh, he says some really oh. fucked yo, up shit. How, how, that's this why, is yo, my that's why he, that's why he won't campaign anymore. Because the last time he campaigned, they, you know, they're like, "Well, what do you think about you know, like Trump getting the black vote?" And he's like, "If you vote for Trump." You ain't black. Yeah, and then they were like, uh, you can't campaign anymore. They'll put you no. back They'll in like, chains. Yeah. Yo, I, yeah, you had to have seen it too. Tons of people that would have crucified Trump for saying that were like, yo, that's not what he meant. Okay, yeah, and yeah, I'm yeah, like, that's what I'm, saying. Well, I'm like mind blown. You know, like, oh my god, well, how the, are you justify? Well, well, the, the, the only point the is, only problem is when that guy says fucking re- like absolutely asinine things. They're like. He was kidding. I agree. Listen. He was kidding. No, no, no. I agree on either fucking side. If somebody says something ridiculous, yo, what the fuck? Wait a second, though. Let's just put it all in a really really sharp focus, okay? It's Um, called uh, confirmation bias. 252 or or 300 years almost at this point. United States, almost 300 years. Who the fuck? We'll call it more than 100. More than, okay. (laughs) And, um,. Nancy Pelosi's been in for 40-something years. Schumer's been in for 40-something years. Biden's been there for 40-something years. Donald Trump's been here three years. He's the fucking problem. Yeah. They're they're all... Again, the the problem is fucking that everyone still believes that partisan politics is... That it actually works and your vote means anything and that all these motherfuckers aren't in on on it together. Like, this is the way it is. They should move in. It's ridiculous. They should move in and totally bring a new team. Like, (laughs) yo, you're like, we just got this new guy... But every single fucking guy in the back room, like, 
yo, this restaurant is under new management, but <laughs> the only guy that changed is the owner, and he doesn't even come in at night. Yeah. <laughs> like, he's not even here. He doesn't even want to be He just here. owns the building. He, just, he wants to come in on a Thursday and get it's the check. It's basically the same fucking restaurant ha- it was before. Have an espresso yeah. and collect the checks. Yeah, I agree with that. I agree with that. I think, <laughs> I, listen, that's why I always say I'm not pro-Trump. Back, back but, to that but really quick. But you know quick, what, though? Exercising you know, the presidential powers the way he's had, he's done, the stuff that he can do, he's done some pretty cool shit with it. I, I completely, I, listen, the whole, the whole thing with the, the trade war with China and to not have us put our fucking hats in the ring and pay for goddamn everything in the world, I completely agree with that shit. Yep. It's just that, you know. There it's, you go. That's enough. The Honestly, for me, is the fact that you're no, not it's, it's so not biased. No, no, no. Here's How about my the prison point. reform? No, here's my point. Just listen to me for one second. The point is that you people that dislike him as much as you obviously do will not even make that statement. Oh, no. I, they will not even uh, make I acknowledge I say, I that say any that. fucking thing positive ever happened. No. And it's the uh, same thing with Obama. Right. Anybody that hates Obama doesn't find one thing that he did I just think positive. That, especially with, with Obama, what I think is funny is that if you if you do like a supercut of any of the motherfucking those, – those complete bags of shit and, and this is good this goes for every single network but i mean they really try to go out of their way at fox news but like if you look at any of the things that Car- tucker carlson sean hannity laura ingram uh what what's that fucking horrible cunt's name and Ann coulter if you you listen to any anything that they've said it, when you when you you look at anything that they said they're like obama did x y z is a piece of shit then trump does the same exact thing and they're like well you know you're looking Yo, you're looking that. you're this looking at point. it from the wrong perspective wow. blah, blah 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 and again I, like you know uh, w- what's that f- uh, Cuomo's brother th- th- that idiot that oh who, yeah. Fredo, Other Cuomo. who used stage makeup Fredo. and pretended Fredo. to have fuck yeah fr- yeah Fredo Cuomo <laughs> I, like all of Don Lemon like all those I, I want them all to like yeah, have a meeting dude. and just blow the fuck natural born killers up. they warned us about this right Oliver Stone warned us about this right remember yes Hey, right. this is what we're this asking. All the fuckers, just so, like, oh baby, get get the MDMA ready. I'll be home in two hours. Yeah, these <laughs> fucking jerk offs. Like, I I agree with that too, and I can't. I hate. They're the all echo, fucking I hate vermin, the echo dude. They're all fucking. And they vermin. should all just all be reporting on what's going on and not. You know, in England, they side. they they face jail terms if they uh, if they report like we do in the United States. Well, when they're reporting news, it has to only be news. When they're when they have no inflection, oh, really? it's yeah. very robotic. When it's news, then the difference is everything the here is shows. opinion piece. Yeah, they're all opinion. It's shows. painted There's as no news, news, but it's all opinion. that's a uh, post like like Columbine is like I, I think it was Columbine. Like around that time is when it all shifted. Maybe OJ, I don't know, but it was around that time period. We all were that that twenty four hour cycle, and then all of a sudden there's opinions. Yeah. And uh, that's yeah, that's not right. It's not right. We just need fucking news and no, because everybody's uh, putting their spin on it and uh, justifying yeah. this and that instead of going, well, uh, so and so said something fucking stupid today, and we're not sure what was going on. And there. they die for their team. No, well, that's why yeah. they have to make shit up, is because they're like, no, this is this is my guy, bro, right here. <laughs> but that, you know what's that's that's the problem? It's, it's not it's not about comedian, country. It's about I'm my being guy. Pressured to toe that line. Like I've lost a lot of work because I'm not I'm a, sure. a I'm, I'm I'm a conservative. Yeah, I've really lost a lot of. Work oh, believe me, that. there's. I mean, and I know a lot of people were uh, in the local area are mad at you, and they're mad at me. I yeah. don't fucking. Yeah, I don't go to Wawa do Social me. Club for a reason. You know, <laughs> <laughs> I was just there. Yeah, I, I'm, I, well, Ron's we're there now, which in. is a, that's a out. that's a plus. Who's Ron? Ron, Ron, the cool Ron G, the, show, man. the, um, <laughs> the Marine. bartender dude. No, well, he's the bartender dude, but he's a comic and he's oh, okay. a Marine, and he he he's, he knows shit, dude. He's buttoned down, yeah, even though so he's his. his points. He's he knows shit. The kid's good. Is it? Oh, it's a kid. No, he's not a kid. He's no, 30, a, oh, 38, 39. That's not who was serving beer. No, last Ron. Night. He's he's got the the messed up nose and the teeth and everything. Looks a little like a Klingon. I love the kid, but. I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna be looking now for Ron. Ron Weiser, the kid, the kid, the Sounds kid. Sounds some shit, man. Ron Weiser. Well, I mean, bless his heart. Not you know Ron. Yeah, we can. But God bless him. I'm gonna stop making points. Oh yeah. Yeah. He's a uh, vet. Dude, he's been. Oh, blown he was up. there. He was there. Yeah, he's been blown up. He dude. wasn't working though. He was hanging out at the bar. Yeah, Ron is Ron's the real deal. Oh yeah, he uh, he 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 yeah he's seen some shit. Gnarly. Yeah, yeah. Much respect to anybody that wha- no matter what yeah. your opinion on it is, fucking if somebody went and uh, you know saw a battle, fought for us, 
hundred percent. I respect those guys always. Yeah, that's not 100%. their fault again. Hey, they're just giving fucking orders. You know, and I then love, you got to deal with it, and I you're like, "What Ron, is this but asshole doing?" You can't mess with a guy who's a marine <laughs> because he got into a fight with this kid at, at one of the shows, and it, and he started crying really hard. And I was like, "Dude, are you all right?" And I, he, he's PTSD. But yeah. He goes, "Doesn't he know if if he got into a fight with me, I'd have to kill him?" <laughs> I was just like, "Oh fuck!" Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's a trained fucking killer. Yeah, like that's not a joke. Like, yeah, I respect that. Yeah, he's crying. That's he's like, same. "I'm gonna fucking have to yeah, kill him." Exactly. Doesn't he know Listen. I'd have to kill him? Yeah. And I was like, "Whoa." I'm going to lose it and <laughs> fucking yeah. wring this guy's neck out. You know I mean? <laughs> well, the, the sad part is, is that when those guys come home, that uh, that our country is they should be taking care of guys like and that, that have deep, that have deep rooted fucking issues that can set them off and they can go back to their army base and fucking shoot 20 people like that's people like that need actual nah, help, man. Like my my uncle came home with such P- PTSD from Nam and for years and years. My grandmother had, like, whenever there'd be a thunderstorm or some shit, he'd be under the fucking bed crying his eyes out. My grandmother had to, like, for years. You know what I mean? And it's just like, there was, and especially back then, I mean, there wasn't really the amount of help that you could get now. And I just think that it's, there's a Booker producer. They they don't have a problem sending them the fuck over there to to fight wars for whatever reason they sell you in the news. And, uh, you know, when they come back, they don't give a fuck about them. So, jackhammers, thunder, (coughs) um, yeah. He, gets, he gets squirrely as uh, shit. Fourth, fourth of July, like my fireworks dad's, going off and My shit. dad's a Vietnam vet. He doesn't have any issues like that. But one of his good friends was like a ranger. And he, like, there, his whole platoon got killed. And there was a fucking trench. And he laid down in it and pulled his friends over top of him. Because they walked by the trench and was just spraying through it to make sure that everybody was dead. So he had to get down and pull them over him fucking car went by one day backfired he fucking hit the fucking deck yeah, right man. in the yard you know yep. so that I'm, dude's seen some God serious fuck i'm not i'm not a soldier i'm not a warrior but uh, you know you guys know my 9-11 story and after 9-11 thunderstorms all that shit i'd hide under my bed so i understand that i get it and i'm not a warrior i'm not a soldier like i said i just happen to be in fucking in new york on a fucking shitty day yeah but imagine seeing all your fucking friends yeah gone right there and then that's got uh, you know, that's a real thing that and that thing. the it's issue with thing. that is that those dudes you know you're like how why me how come whatever 20 other dudes just died yeah and now the, yep, i'm yep. the only fucking yes. one why uh yeah you well, can't ask yourself questions like that. no you end for up going sure down a rabbit hole with that kind of thing well that's what happens you know yeah. a lot of times but same I'm with sure. the soldiers, the soldiers that 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 that's kill. what i'm talking the about the soldiers that oh, kill yeah. even we had a conversation yes, before. Yes, we this, had a conversation. Right? And I have that a friend the similar that was that, gnarly. That, that, that they questioned why did I they didn't have some I mean I'm sure he, he never talked he never spoke to me about all the people that died in his in his platoon, but he spoke more to me uh, when he got lit about the people he killed. Wow. And why? Why did I kill that person? How do I, you know what I mean? It was just such a, I had no answers for the guy. It's sad when guys like that 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 have a heart that that end up getting in that kind of situation because there's plenty of people who aren't like that. I hate to yeah. say it, but I don't know. I don't know which way I would go on that. But like, I do well, have you, a f- belief that there are people who need killing. For <laughs> sure, so oh, a just, million fucking yeah. percent. Well, that's yeah. the yeah, hard thing for it's not a million percent. That's the hard thing for normal and the average person to try and grasp is that there are bad people. That I mean, unless you uh, don't wear your mask in the store, and then it's totally fine. <laughs> Look, I wear it because it's the <laughs> law. If I <laughs> to didn't have to you. wear it, I wouldn't wear it. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I agree. It's, it's life. It's and I, I just wear, yo, and yeah. I post stuff, but I wear the fucking mask. It's right. not like I'm standing in every place going, "Fuck you!" I don't gotta wear no mask. Hey, not, like not I don't for, do not that. Not for nothing, but like, has anybody, uh, you know, has anybody run into any of like the fucking situations that you see on the internet every single day? Has anybody run into that around any here? Karen's? What do you mean? Like, well, like, yeah, like the well, whole Karen situation where no. motherfuckers like, "I'm not." F- I, I I woke up in America and it's free yeah. and fuck you yeah. and it's like dude what, what, I, what are we I doing I encountered my first you did yeah the person here. didn't understand why they couldn't eat inside okay really yeah and we're like guys listen like that and I just trained everybody that works for what? me I trained everyone that works for me is that we don't make the rules man dude. yeah we don't make the rules That's, uh, like we're it's just like, trying to all live it's, we're just all trying to live and stay other, alive the other, like, the other part of it is it's like it's like like what what do you, what do you think I'm doing? I'm doing this to you? Like that whole thing like you're discriminating against me because I'm not wearing a mask. It's like, yo man, I'm not the fucking I, I don't I'm not I'm rules. not Phil Murphy. Yeah. Phil Murphy made these rules. Yeah. Like I'm a fucking business in you know in right. Morris Plains. We're not running, you know, 
a, a, a sweatshop in my basement and I'm selling sneakers out the fucking back. This is a legitimate business. They were giving us rules. We what's follow. your fucking problem? Seriously, what's your fucking problem? Why? Why is it we such a big deal? Do you, do you think that I'm personally... Impending, you know, I'm in, in, well, impinging on your that's, that's fucking the problem freedoms, with all this yours, shit. That's me. the problem with the, I hate the word conspiracy, but that's the problem with all this, that some people just, some people are mentally ill and they take it a little too far right. and they think you're part of it and they don't understand. And that's where, that's why I want to have a free thinkers just to kind of bring everyone back. Yeah. Because things could get a little crazy. No, I had a and friend get mad when they did Supercross on TV. Those guys wore masks and somebody was like, yo, and I'm like. The guy's an announcer. Like, <laughs> he wants to keep his sweet talking job. Like, what are you giving that guy a fucking hard time for? And like, he, yeah. he, he's just, they're like, hey, you got to wear this mask in order to get paid this money. Sure. And you're like, yo, what's up with the mask? <laughs> that's that's where I'm at. I, I, I have to wear a mask at work every day. I only wear it when I'm, like I'm, like I'm supposed to, when I'm, uh, wi when I'm in within proximity oh. of other fucking people and et cetera. So I wear it. I do what I got to do because those are the fucking rules. Now, having said that, I have masks that I like that people think are a little offensive or a little scary or whatever. And it's just like, well, listen, this is how I express myself. <laughs> so I don't know what to tell you. Like, uh, you know, I'm not yeah. wearing that paper mask. This is what I like. This is what I'm going to do. So... It's it. If you don't like it, fuck off. I cannot wear it if you don't want me to. I'll tell you what. I was on the beach all weekend, and I didn't wear a mask. What beach? <gasps> well, dude, you're outside. No, but you're supposed to. Yeah, what? You're supposed yeah. to. Yeah, you're yeah, supposed yeah. to. <laughs> what? Unless you're in the water, you're supposed to. No, and no, no I, like, you're allowed to go in the water now? What beach? Oh, yeah. Because for months, you weren't allowed was, to see, go in the water. Because sea water. Imagine you, you, get, you get your mask wet. I didn't go down. It was While I was on the parkway, it said that it was already full. Okay. Which it always says. <laughs> but, yeah, no. Th and there was people with masks. And you Where know what? Where did you go? Island? State? I was around that area. Seaside. I was in okay. Seaside. But, you know, I had to check myself a couple of times because there were people with masks. And in my mind, I'm like, you fucking idiot boy. And I'm like, you know what? Hey, if that's what the person wants to do, don't, Did, don't judge that to person. To me, like that, that's the whole thing. How the At first, I'm you like, shouldn't, yeah, I'm you shouldn't that. be shaming people for anything. Yeah, like, like, you know what? Like, all right, here, here's, here's my Maybe they have a fucking... Yeah. Maybe they legitimately... Maybe they have the COVID and they want to catch right, them No, late. no, I mean, but maybe they legitimately have uh, some kind of immune disease yeah. or sure, some kind sure, of something. Sure, Call Call ahead. Be like, hey, I'm coming to pick this up. Bop, bop, bop. No, That's I mean it. on the beach. Oh, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Which the beach, I agree, is a little weird. Here's one of my... Here's my... Take, put this in your head and fucking break this down for a second. So 11 months ago, whatever, if you walked up to a store, a restaurant or whatever, and there's a sign and it says no shirt, no shoes, no service. If you walked in there barefoot or without a shirt on and they said, sir, you can't be in here. Would you say, yes, this is, is my, America. This is a, I woke up in America yeah, and this exactly is a free country. Yeah, doesn't he? <laughs> That's <laughs> exactly you know? what I said. But I'm just saying, though, like, how the fuck is this any... Di Listen, I'm not... I, I totally believe that there are psyops, and I believe that there's fucking programming, and I believe that there's... Like, all of these things are real. But it's just, like, at the same time, like, I don't want to fucking deal with this for 17 more months. Wear your fucking mask. Keep your fucking opinion to yourself. If you want to shop here, shop here. And if you don't, go fuck your mother. Hey, look, it's the rules right now. You got to follow the rules. And that's... And, and, and whether or not it's going to... If wearing a mask is going to fix things or it's not, not. It's irrelevant. But it doesn't matter. It, exactly. It's, it's irrelevant. irrelevant. It's fucking irrelevant. It's what the rules are. You follow the rules. Compliance is simple. Yeah, I don't want him to put a FEMA camp. No. So. And listen, you know, that whole you know, the whole obey thing, it's, that shit's very real. They want to yeah. see how much fucking control they can actually yeah. put over us. That's totally a thing, man. Yeah. I definitely believe that. But at the same time, again, no shirt, no shoes, no service. Nobody had a problem with that. You know, you know? here's the problem. No with problem. This, How am I oh, supposed I to go did. out and burn shit? You, it's already you, been you burned. How saying, can I man. protest when the protests just won't mean anything? I want. <laughs> Well, that's that's, that's for PC, PCU. You remember PCU, right, with Jeremy Piven? Yeah. When they're like they're protesting the protests. Yeah. And it's like, or they call them the cause heads, and they're like, you know, like what? Are, the girl looks at the sign and she's like, oh, like flips it around. It's a totally different yeah. cause. It's the same shit, man. Guys, I got I got to run. I got to go meet somebody oh. uh, just to close this place up. But if you guys want to keep going. No, we're but good. This is, this is an hour and 35 minutes. This is awesome. It's John, one. you're you're always I mean anytime, man. Thank you so much for coming. Yeah, and once Appreciate with the club it. is running, man. This is this is no carnival. That's what this is. Just while the Pure. while the Pure. shows are going, we're just I'm, fucking I'm bumming talking you got shit. Lewis coming here on Saturday. Why are you bumming? It's my birthday. My wife made dinner reservations. Uh, <laughs> all right, we're signing off everybody. Uh freethinker.tv, you can find all this. The Freethinker Society podcast. 
the Clint Files, um, and whatever. Oh yeah, Henry's gonna do last, his music. Last one before we go uh, this week. Uh, let's give you some uh, some records to go by. That's your drum roll. Um, Aesop Rocks Float 20 year anniversary I can't believe this record Is fucking 20 years old It makes me feel Actually old For once um, 20th anniversary Is coming out on Rhyme Sayers There's three different Versions of it um, It's sold out On a bunch of platforms But definitely get this record This is what got me Into Aesop Rock uh, Early 2000s I absolutely love this record Buy it Buy it Buy it um, something I've been grooving on lately. TV on the radio, Seeds from 2014. One of my favorite records from them. It doesn't get enough hype. It doesn't get enough play. They have better records, I'm sure, but this is one of my favorites. Um, last one. This came out last week. Blockhead, um, one of the producer, one of the main producers for Aesop Rock. He actually came out with a new beat tape. It's called Quar and Peace. Uh, play on quarantine. So that is 2020. Just came out. Give it a listen. Aesop Rock Float. TV on the radio, Seeds. Blockhead. Quar and Peace. Thank you, thank you, my people. Uh, Guar should have made Guar in peace. Right. <laughs> I think like three. Qu- I think though, three right? quarters of that band is dead though. Ah, <laughs> uh, see, Maybe. but you know, my, but Mike they wear would know. they wear outfits, so you could totally the, do it. I think that um, I, th- I feel like Arundus, Sli- 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 whatever his name yeah, Ogre Arundus, he's dead. He's dead, and I think Slimentra Slimentra passed away too. I'm pretty sure that could be wrong. Rest on in that, peace. Rest in peace. Uh, rest yeah. in peace. We All love right, you, Guar. We're out of here. Peace, y'all. Thank you. Later. Thank you.